do you wanna build a snowman? Hey everybody! We're testing out the audio. Let me know how I sound. How's the how's the background music? How's my voice? Am I too loud? Am I too quiet? Let me know. Tana, thank you so much. I'll be on in just a second. I'm so sorry. I'm getting some last minute snowballs made for our snowball fight. Well, that's right. We're going to be having a snowball fight today. But I'll be on in just a sec. Let me go uh, get the door closed so the cats don't bug us too much. All right. Do you want to build a snowman? That's what we're doing here today. Get your hook and yarn balls off the floor. Uh, and out the door. We're going to go crochet. Look at that. I did it. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh oh, was my audio off? Oh, my gosh. Am I... Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, good. All right, I think the background music is playing. It's like a weird solemn song though. Ugh. Okay, anyhow, hey everybody, welcome to the live stream. Today, 
We are crocheting a snowman. Here's a little picture of one right there. It's it's actually over there. Well, I should probably grab it. Let me just grab it. Oh. Here we go. It's missing his nose because there was a bunch. There's a couple goblins adding the nose to it. But today we're crocheting a snowman. Wasn't that fun? We're gonna be learning actually how to make a snowman today. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks because the snowman pattern on the website teaches you how to make a, like a little mini snowman. So we're gonna learn how to make a kind of a bigger snowman. I just realized I forgot to get the live part set up right here. Um, for this video or for this uh, pattern, oopsies, hold on, there we go. For this pattern, we're going to be using the following materials if you want to crochet along with me. Now, I'm using all worsted weight yarn. I'm not using 100% cotton today. Instead, we are using um, this worsted weight wool. There you go. It's classic wool. Um, and that's just because it, it adds a little bit of fuzzies and it kind of like makes it different than most of my crochet, which I think is kind of like, I don't know, kind of fun. There we go. And... We're also going to be having a snowball fight, and I'll explain that in a second, too. Um, we'll also need a little bit of orange, obviously, for the carrot. Uh, we can use something else for the carrot, too. We'll try to figure that out together. I'm going to get a lot of your guys' input for what we're making, like how we're making our guide today. And we'll need a little bit of black yarn for stuff, uh, for, like, like for like these little dots and stuff here. Oopsies, his hat fell off. He won't be a real boy. Okay. Make some, like, stitches in black, and then we'll need some buttons for eyes. Because I think buttons for eyes is real cute for a snowman instead of using safety eyes because they're not animate. Um, so that's the materials that we're going to need today. I'm going to put these to the side because we're going to be using them. Uh, before I get going, I'd like to talk about uh, the different ways you can help support this channel. If you'd like to help support this channel, hello to the chat, by the way. Um, if you'd like to help support this channel, there's a few ways you can do so. The first is with a Club Crochet membership. That's the bestest way. Members get early access to future patterns, they get access to the full library of tutorials, and they get monthly kits mailed to the door each month with all the materials they need to make whatever we're making this month. This month's kit was for an elf on the shelf. Look at this guy. I finished recording the video yesterday, so the pattern's going to be out tomorrow if I get all my things together today. Look, Listen. He's got a little bell in his hat. Um, so that is the tutorial for this month or that's the new uh, kit for this month that already it's too little too late if you didn't sign up for the pro kit you can't get that one but you can however get ready for next month's kit next month we are going to be doing a collaboration kit with uh, Sir Pearl Grey the great and powerful <laughs> we're going to be making a reversible plushie for a corgi look at that he's so happy right and then you piss him off you go bop and then he goes Oops. there we go Ugh. And he turns into a grumpy corgi. So this is going to be next month's Club Crochet Pro Kit. So sign up for a pro membership today, and you'll get uh, you'll be signed up for the pro kit that will be shipped out in the new year. But this was our last kit for this year. It was our little elf here. I'm going to set this out for a second. Other ways you can help support this channel, like and and subscribe. And if this video gets, let's say, I really want to do a giveaway next month, next week. So let's just say 200. 200 likes. If this video gets 200 likes, I will do a giveaway on the next live stream next week at the same time. Let me go ahead and put that. I'm just going to put that in the title. 200 likes equals giveaway. And we're just going to put that there so it holds me accountable. There we go. It's in the title now. I, I, it has to be true. So we're going to be doing a giveaway if this video gets 200 likes. You can also help support by bur purchasing merch and kits in the store. We got a bunch of different little stickers. We got uh, pins and t-shirts. Look, I'm actually wearing a t-shirt right now. Look at that guy. I call this one the pocket monster shirt because it's got a little ogre in it. Uh, and the last way you can help support is by donating. People that donate today will uh, be part of something a little bit different. We're doing something a little different today. So let me move our little corgi here because... We've actually already had someone donate. Miss Tina, thank you so much for your donation, Tina. Today, we are going to be having a snowball fight. If you donate, your character, you get to choose which side your character's on. 
Uh, this will be Tina's donating uh, troll. They don't always have to be trolls. You can make a choice of what kind of character you want, and I'll add a little snowball to it. And I'll put your snowball. Uh oh, Jules is calling me. She knows I'm in. I'm doing this. I don't know what she's doing. Uh, you can choose which side you would like your character on, and you get to choose what you want your character to be. Just let me know in the uh in the chat or in the note for the tip. We'll put it right here. There's your character, Tina. We'll have to name our different sides of our snowball fight as well. But there we go. We got our snowball fight going. Let me turn this back heater off there. Boop. There we go. So we're going to have a snowball fight. We're going to have a, a good old-fashioned snowball fight. Now let's get rocking and rolling, hooking and booking. I don't know. Something like that. Let's get rocking and rolling. I got a bunch of little snowballs here that I've made. Uh, and actually, before I get going on a snowman, let me show you how to make a snowball if you want to make your own snowball fights. Or yarn ball, I guess I should say. All you have to do for for making a yarn ball is you just pinch it like this. Pinch the yarn like that, and you wrap around your finger a few times. Like that. Maybe one more. And you fold it and you do this. Oh, if you'd like to donate, you can by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. It's in the description of this video. Oopsies. It's in the description of this video, and that's where you can go tip. You can also get a snowman, or I mean a, a snowball by creating a club crochet membership. Now, the last person that created a Club Crochet membership right there, Virginia, made like a crazy long name, so it kind of went into the other one. But there's there's actually two people there. Um, <laughs> I just thought it was so funny. I was like, oh my gosh, that's a long name. So if you create a Club Crochet membership, you'll also get a snowman today. That's the plan. Stan? All right, so this is how you make a snowman ball, right? You do that, you wind it around, and then all you have to do is you take your crochet hook, Go through the snowball. Kind of wiggle your way through. And then hook on to the end with attach, attach the ball of yarn. Oopsies. Pull it through. Oh gosh. I'm failing. I'm failing. Oh, it came apart. Hold on, let's try that again. I swear this worked for me before. Around the outside, around the outside. You can also use just like a needle, obviously. Boop. Hook onto that, and then pull it through. There you go. And then you cut it, and pull the excess yarn out, and you have a snowball. Isn't that cute? We're gonna create a little snowball fight today. All right, let me turn this a little bit darker because I feel like it's hard to see the snow, the yarn, whatever. I'm also gonna sneeze. <laughs> okay, now that I've done all that, <laughs> Let's actually start crocheting. So for today's uh, snowman, I'm actually going to show you a little bit how to crochet it. Um, it's going to be really simple, though. It's, it's like a really simple pattern. And the idea here is that you can make it any size snowman that you really want to make. Um, all you have to do is make a slip knot, which if you're a part of if you're a fan of this channel, you probably know. I mean, magic loop. I said slip knot. If you're a fan of this channel, you probably know how to make a magic loop. So I'm not going to show you how to do that. But then you uh, do what we usually do for our amigurumi. You single crochet six times into the magic loop. And then we're just going to keep increasing up the way I normally do for my like amigurumi. So that means like uh, for round one, we're doing six single crochets into a magic loop. For round two, we're doing an increase into each stitch, which will bring you up to 12 single crochets. Um, for round three, we'll do a single crochet and then an increase to increase up. And we're going to keep increasing that up until we have like a snowman that we like the size of it. And then we'll go straight down and then we'll decrease a little bit. And then I'll show you how to do the neck. And that's going to be the weird part. But until we get to there, I think that kind of works for explanations. Let me know in the chat if you would like... 
Ooh, ooh, okay. Tina says that she wants to be on the left side. And she wants to be a team superheroes. All right, all right, we'll put him right here. Oh, and by the way, this troll's name is Saki. He's got a name, his name is Saki. I remember this one. I play Stitched with Saki all the time. Well, I guess I haven't played in a second, but... Hello, Angel. How are you? Hello, Warrior Cactus. And thank you for all the bless yous to, from everybody. Here we go. So we've increased up already a little bit. And we're also going to need to add a hat to our snowman. Anybody got... Anybody got a team yellow snow. Anybody got an idea for a hat? For what kind of hat we should make for a snowman? How tall is it? Really as tall as we want it to be. That's what's really going to be nice about this. We can make our snowman look however we want it to look. I also need to kind of like relax today. My back is starting to do that thing again. So I'm going to try to like lay back a little bit. But we're doing we're doing okay. I got my fingers in the in the video still. Let's go ahead and bend this down. Warrior Cactus made a snowman yesterday for their sister. You're way ahead of us. You're ahead of us. Here, let's put our snowman that we're gonna make right here, and we'll move him eventually. A burb hat. Oh my gosh. A builder hat. What's a boulder hat? Crafty Chat said that we should make it have a boulder hat, but I don't really know what a boulder hat is. Boulder hat. Cold Blood Adventures. Hey, Louie, should I use softer yarn or 100% cotton? I mean, that's up to you. You can use whatever kind of yarn you want for this uh, snowman. You can even use like super duper bulky yarn if you want. That's all up to you. I'm using a little bit softer yarn. I'm using wool today because I like the fuzzy look of it uh, for our snowman because it kind of looks a little bit more like snow. But you can make your snowman look however you'd like it to. However you'd like it to. Any kind of yarn. I mean, I wouldn't use like lace yarn. But really fuzzy yarn might be pretty fun because then you could have like a really fuzzy snowman, which would be kind of cool. Those vintage round hats that are kind of shaped like Christmas pudding. What? <laughs> I don't know what kind of hat you're talking about, but I believe you fully, Crafty Chats. I know exactly what you mean. Like a top hat with a rounded crown. Oh, so like kind of like a bowler cap? Oh, is that what you were saying? A bowl? You said a boulder hat, but like a bowler cap. Oh, we could definitely do a bowler cap. For sure. Actually, I think that's a pretty good idea. Brown Brownian says that they're using string for the owl. You're crocheting an owl and you're making it with string. So like embroidery thread or something? That's gonna be a very tiny owl. All right, so I'm at the end of my round right now. So I'm trying to think, do I wanna make it bigger? And the answer is mm, yes, most definitely. We're doing a big old snowman today. Maybe a little bit bigger than this one. Ooh, a raccoon tail hat thing. Like a, like a, um, like a, I think they're called a coonskin hat. Coon, coon skin cap? Raccoon skin cap? Like that? Like where... Like a... Like a skinned raccoon? <laughs> That'd be a funny hat. A pudding hat, yes. Yes, I have... I have a lot of weird accents that I do. Jules was said that I was going full Jim Carrey last night because I was being so weird. I don't know why. I don't know what I don't know what was in my 
water. I was being a little wild child. Me and Jimbo. Jimbo's been very um, talkative the past, like, few days. And then we were like, oh my gosh, bud, stop. He's just, like, screaming at us all the time. And all he wants is pets. Like, he doesn't want anything else. He just wants to be pet, which is very cute. But it's also really annoying. Because he'll, like, pet me, pet me. You know how you know how cats talk. It's kind of like that. You want to hear my New Zealand accent? Okay. All right. All right. So this is my New Zealand accent. Hold on. This is my New Zealand accent. Does, does it sound good? <laughs> Just kidding. All right. So uh, how to get into a New Zealand accent? I always have to count to ten. So I'll go. Um, oh, by the way, I've increased up my snowman enough where I think this is pretty good. Like his he's. He's bigger than this snowman, so it'll be pretty big. Probably get him to like that big, I think, which is a pretty massive snowman, to be honest. So what you gotta do, oh my gosh. Sorry, one second, guys. Jules is calling me a bunch. Let me, let me text her. Cause she's not texting me. Just wanna make sure everything's okay. Okay. Just in case. If she doesn't text back in a second, I'll try to give her a call back. All right. Um, so I think I, we have it out far enough. So now all I'm going to do is do single crochets down. Uh, yeah, all I'm going to do now is do single crochets down so it gets like a little head, like that big kind of thing. So once you have it like the width you want, you just need to go down with it. Okay, she's good. She just forgot we were in, we were doing a live stream. Uh, we just want to go down with it after that. So that means that we just want to do single crochets into each stitch after you've increased it big enough for whatever size you want. The cat's like, I like them big. I like them chunky. Uh, <laughs> so, um, yeah, once you have it big enough, what I did is I have gotten to, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I've done uh, 30 so I have 30 stitches around right now, and I think that's as big as I want for my head, but I can keep going. I can get it like as big as we want. But we always have to remember that the body is going to be bigger than the head. You know? So we're going to go like about that big, I think. Well, maybe we could do one more round. Let's do... Okay, fine. Oh, you've convinced me. <laughs> I'm going to do one more round of increasing out to make even a bigger snowman. I like the head of our snowman to be like pretty like flat and then we'll go from there. Okay, so what I'm doing now is I'm on a round where we do four single crochets and then an increase six times around if you're crocheting along with me. Um, that is how big I'm gonna get my snowman and then I'm gonna do like four or five rounds of just single crochets after that. But we'll get to there in a sec. All right, now my New Zealand, my New Zealand accent for um, for brown brownian um okay so the first trick for a new zealand accent is you have to count to 10 you go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then you have a little new zealand accent and you got to talk with the the front of your front of your mouth a little bit that's how you sound like a kiwi you just gotta you just gotta have this little uh new zealand accent like this and it's it's best if you if you say words that uh, that have like a sharp uh, sharp eye, like seven, in and, and uh, seven seven's a really good one because it, it does sound like a like a New Zealand accent when you say seven. Uh, and yeah, that's how you do a little New Zealand accent. It kind of sounds like that. What do you think? That doesn't sound Aussie. Australian sounds like this. It's it's way it's way deeper. It's really it's in the back of the back of the throat there when you talk with an Aussie accent. Whereas New Zealand accent's kinda in the front, it's a little nasally. It's a little hello. Bronwyn Bronwyn 
I think it's a good New Zealand accent. <laughs> Alright, one, two, three, four. And now we're on to... Okay, so we've made it one more round bigger. That's a big old snowman. My mom's going to love this. I'm going to give this snowman to my mom. That's the plan, Stan. Oh, we got a tip! We got a tip! Train of my best! Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it till now. Eight minutes ago. Oh, I'm so sorry! We got a... A tip. And that's a pretty big tip. So we're going to go ahead and give them a pretty big character. We're going to go with this here ogre here from a live stream from like honestly this is a long live stream ago. We're going to do a oh, that's too big. Let's do this snowball. This snowball. Like that. Let's get a little bit of let's get a needle. We got a series of, of little pins out here. And we're just going to pin this to his hand. There we go. We got a second fighter pretty big one too if i might add thank you for your support treen i'm so sorry that i just saw it again if you want to help support this channel and you'd like to donate you will add a little character out for you now this guy does have a name anybody remember our name for this fella right here we we made him like in the beginning of uh man it might have been even in 2020 so it might have been a whole year ago something like that Yes, Crafty Chats, I had hurt my back. Um, so I don't know how I hurt my back, but I did hurt it. I think it's from sitting in this chair that I'm currently sitting in for too long. So uh, that, yeah, it, it does, it, it's starting to come back a little bit. So I got to go see a massage therapist again because the massage therapist really like helped a lot. Like it totally took the pain away. So I'd like to maybe go back again and do something like that. How many stitches do I have for the small one in the corner? This guy right here. Let's count. I'll tell you how many stitches I have, Cold-Blooded Adventures. So for this one, I increased out to one, two, uh, to 24 stitches. Okay, so if anybody wants to write this down, by the way, uh, and send me the pattern, I'll I'll put it on the website or I'll make it into like a little PDF for, for people. Um, so the pattern is... Uh, you do six single crochets in the first uh, into the magic loop, and then you increase out to 12, and then you increase up to 18, and then you increase up to 24. And then once you're at 24, you do four rounds of single crochets, and then you decrease down a few times, and then we'll do some weird ones like that after that. Um, but that is, that's the size of this snowman's head. And then on the body, it increases out a little bit further. So I think it increases out to 30 stitches in the body. So just a little bit bigger than the head. Yeah. But the but this neckline here is made using something that I call the seamless seam. And I have actually a tutorial video where I teach how to do the seamless seam. But I will be showing you how to do that once we get to the neck of this guy as well. It's essentially like a little... Um, you like crochet into the back loops of a round and then you crochet into both loops of the next round and the front loop from the round prior. Something like that. I do have a cushion right behind me that I am leaning back on actually. And I also got a heating pad on it too, which helps. By the way. Um. Okay. Let's keep rocking and rolling here. Uh, okay, so someone wanted an Italian accent. You know, I'm going to put my my relatives to shame because I am actually Italian. Uh, my my mom is, is a full Italian, Sicilian Italian. And, yeah, we come from, from a very Italian family. So my Italian accent is not good enough to make them very proud, but I can try it. I'm going to get real cliche on it. You got to go... Oh, man, I don't know if I can. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. I want to I want to do like Father Cherry. Hey, what are you doing? Here? Huh? But that's kind of not great. I'm kind of just screaming at the microphone, which honestly might be pretty Italian. <laughs> 
Whoa, Johnny! Jeez Louise! Johnny tipped 50 bucks! Oh my gosh! Okay, well, Johnny's getting like a giant, a giant fighter here. So, Johnny, what? first off, which side do you want to be on, Johnny? Do you want to be on the soup, uh, the, oh, we got to get a better name than just the superheroes, right? The super, let's call them like the, the super snow smashers or the snow super Mm. Something like that. And then and then this side we need a name as well. We need name suggestions, guys. Give me name suggestions on our teams. And also, Johnny, what character... Do you have a preference? Do you have any preference at all? If not, no worries. I'll just put out uh, something amazing for you. Like maybe Yancey the Yeti? Something big, though. Something big. We got... Ooh. Oh, we gotta have this guy out because because we're gonna add him later. Let's see, we got a Germlin. No. Mm -hmm. Ooh, an antlered Hibagon, maybe? That's a pretty good one. Or no, I'm sorry, that's not the antlered Hibagon. That's the beach Hibagon. They're different species entirely. The Super Snow Wizards, a mushroom. Aha, she wants a mushroom. All right, we'll give you a good mushroom. Here we go. Ow, kick the, kick the thing. I'm gonna go for my personal stiff set for you. Go. We got a, we got a cute little blue mushroom, a little fungaloid. And this is actually from my personal stitch set and we're gonna give him a big snowball. Pretty massive. He's gonna do some real damage with this. Can you imagine getting? There we go. Thank you so much for your donation, Johnny. Do you have a choice on sides? I'm gonna put this in the middle until you make a decision on the side. Since it's like a an even game right now. So this mushroom's name is Geralt, actually. This is Geralt the mushroom. And because Jules isn't here, I can tell you all about this thing that I've been working on. Uh, and Geralt, Geralt is included in this thing. So I have been working on something this week, uh, not crocheting it, but actually writing. Uh, I've been working on a stitched story mode. So the idea is, uh, a version of Stitched where you actually tell a story. So it kind of works like Dungeons and Dragons. And your characters each have like different stats, but they've only really got four stats. They've only got their um, their intelligence, their strength, and their speed, and then their best and worst stat. And you play, you play a game of like Dungeons and Dragons. You like role play a game where each per person has like a different character and you go through through a story and you're like going through a dungeon and there's there's different things going on and uh you try to do things in the game so like let's say you have a goblin your character is a goblin and your goblin wants to steal uh the keys from a a guard well you might say something like okay my goblin let's say he's shank because we everybody knows shank right uh, so let's say Shank goes and says like, okay, I'm going to go steal this, these keys from a cop, from this guard. Well, me as the dungeon master or the game master is what we call them. There's one person, gosh, I'm getting so complicated and, and trivial here. Um, oh, rough drafts is still there, Claire. It should be on the home page. I mean, let me just make sure. Let me check real quick. Here we'll go. You, you can watch me do this. Yeah, there's there's one of the rough drafts. But if you actually scroll down to this one and you go twice, that's where the rough drafts are. Yeah, the rough drafts are still there. There's only a few in there. I still got to add the pictures to these ones. But like the Pikmin rough drafts in there. 
Yeah, they're there. Um, okay, let me let me better explain this idea. So you have someone who is the game master, and the game master. Oh, oh, Johnny wants to be on the right with the big guy. His name is Geralt, like the Witcher. Yes, it, it is kind of like the Witcher, actually. He's actually named after one of my best friends, Garrett. And I added an LT because he, uh, to make it more, more goblin-y or more mushroomy. And it's named after an actual mushroom too. There's a mushroom called like a something, and like it's it's a scientific name for a mushroom. Um, so you have a game master, and the game master has this story that they've built. And I'm actually building a story, uh, which I'll tell you all about in a second, since Jules isn't here, because Jules is going to be part of the story. So I don't want to say it when she gets home. Um, uh, I don't know your question right now, Five World Explorers. I, I need um, some more. I, I don't know what you're talking about, but that's okay. Um, let me keep going so I don't get too lost in thought. Um, so you have a game master, and they have this story built in, and I'll tell you all about the story in a sec. And they'll be the ones to decide whether or not you can or can't do certain things. So let's say you have Shank, and he wants to steal those keys from someone. What you do is the game master would say, okay, you, so you try to steal those keys, roll your character's speed, which is the stat that you'd use for stealing stuff. Um, and when you roll your character's speed, a goblin has two speed, so you'd roll two six-sided dice. And then the game master will say, like, okay, well, to get those keys from this guy, this was pretty hard because he's right there. Like, he, he can see you trying to steal these keys, so it's going to be a pretty hard check to make sure that you can steal these keys. Which means that one of the dice that you roll has to be a six. If you get a six, then, yeah, you still steal those keys. If you don't get a six, then you don't steal the keys. And the less... The lower the number that you got was, the uh, the worse your character did. So let's say you rolled just two ones, and you only use one of the dice for to count the numbers. So let's say you rolled two ones. Well, that means that your one means, like, not only did you not steal those keys, but he totally saw you trying to steal those keys, and now he's going to get really upset with you. And that's kind of how the game works. Uh, there's other additions. There's also a leveling system that I'm building. So like each of your characters has different levels that they that they get each time. So like if you get a certain amount of experience, you gain a level, um, which is pretty cool. So I have new stats and new uh, abilities that different types of characters can get. It's been really fun. I've been building it all week um, and it is actually pretty intense. I, I've written 18 pages uh, this week. But it's been a lot of fun. Oh my gosh, chirp a little congratulations on getting your master's degree, though. That is amazing. That seems really difficult. Oh, Five World Explorers. I know. I do need to fix that. I'm so sorry. Um, I've just been so busy with all like the different we I've been trying to get all of the patterns worked on for this month and next month so that I can get like ahead of schedule a little bit that I totally forgot to update the calendar. But you're totally right. Um, Nicole, our uh, head of brain space navigation, that's what her title is at Club Crochet. Um, she is she's been on my butt about that on Friday. She was like, you need to fix the calendar on the website. I'm like, Oh, shoot. You're right. You're right. You're right. So I will get that fixed. Uh, I'll try to get that fixed today since you called me out on it. Since you called me out on it. Well, still, that is a big undertaking, Chirp a Little. I, um, you, you deserve praise for even trying to get your master's degree because that's a really scary big thing to do. And, uh, you know, you should be proud of yourself. That's really cool. What's your master's degree in? What are you what are you working on? Roberta! Welcome to the first her first live stream. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Roberta, we're crocheting snowman. Snowmen today. Snowmans? Snow means. Snow means. We're crocheting snow means today. Um, so the story for my current stitched that I'm working or the, the stitch story mode is that's what I'm calling that little 
Game Master version of Stitch that I was telling you about. Um, let me tell you about the story a little bit since, like, Jules isn't here to hear it. So the story is called The Reflections of Larg. Now I know that's a weird name, but it does make sense in the story that I'm building. Because I'm putting a lot of backstory into the goblins and, like, they believe in a god called Slog. Slog is the god of goblins, and he, like, created all goblins. And then their Slog has three kids. Larg, Barg, and Clarg. Or Larg, Barg, and Krarg. Um, Larg is the god of trolls. Barg is the god... Or is the goddess of trolls. It's a, it's a, it's a girl. Barg is the god of orcs and Krog is the god of ogres and then slog is the god of all goblins oh my gosh isn't this nerdy this has got to be the nerdiest thing you've ever heard anyhow um these these uh a character comes into this town called um uh mogsby that's what i named the village that i'm building and in this village of Mogsby, there is a troll who ro who runs the who runs the town. His name is um, his name is Porgol. Uh, his name is Porgol the Mind, and he talks like this. Porgol, Porgol talks like this, and he talk and Porgol talks in third person all the time. Porgol sees all things. Anyhow, so Porgol the Mind. Uh, has lost a treasure chest, has had a treasure chest stolen by one of his previous domestic attendants, a.k.a. minions. And the players are tasked to go retrieve that chest, find out where it is, which is a little mystery that I've built, and then uh, go to get it, and then there's a little puzzle, and then there's a little battle. So it's all built to be like one game of Stitched. Uh and a little world that I've built. And I'm so excited. I think it's so cool. But the reason why it's called the Reflection of Larg is because um, this troll, uh, Porgol, the mind, has these, um, th th he calls them Shards of the Reflections of Larg. And what they are are, what they are are? What they are, are <laughs> little puzzle pieces. They're little tiny puzzle pieces that comprise a a a big picture of of Lark, who is the god of trolls who I mean uh Porgo uh like worships. And if you are holding one of these Lark shards is what we're calling them. If you're holding one of them, if your character has it on their body when they uh where they are, you can be called from a great distance to a relic. So if a relic is blue, like all the casts on the relic are blue. And now I know I'm getting like really in depth here, but essentially what this does is it lets your character come back from the dead if they if they die. So your character never really dies unless like it's not wearing this this puzzle piece when it dies. And so you can consist consistently bring your character back to life by offering money to Larg, and then he comes, brings your character back to life. And it lets you, you'll collect more of these little puzzle pieces throughout the game. And you can give them to different characters that you meet. So like it, in the game, you can meet Geralt, this, this here mushroom. You can meet the mushroom and say you like, you really like him and you want him to be part of your team. You can give him one of these puzzle pieces. And then later on when you're in a battle, you can call Geralt into battle with you and he'll appear there with you because you gave him one of your puzzle pieces. And now he can be part of your team uh, whenever you want him to for a cost of money. So that is kind of how it works a little bit. Um, there are a lot of other little things. There's a lot of little puzzles, new monsters I'm creating, new characters. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm basically doing this because I really want to and I can't stop thinking about it it's just like a fun thing that i'm making uh but i do intend on maybe releasing it uh at least releasing it for people to just play and try out for free uh but hopefully if it gets um if it goes well 
it'll be part of the Kickstarter because we're going to run a Kickstarter for Stitched next year. Uh, so we're going to do a big Kickstarter so that you can buy a kit for Stitched. Uh, and it'll come with, you can either buy a crochet kit or a, a kit where you make all your pieces out of little cardboard pieces and you color them in. I know there's a lot. I I just spat a lot of nerdy nerdy stuff at you, and I am so sorry about that. I hope you don't uh, mind it too much. If you have any questions about this or want to try it out or something, uh, hit me up. Like email me, and I can I can maybe send you some. Uh, you can you can see my rough draft document that I'm consistently building. It is not finished. It's not even close to being finished. But. Um, it still might be cool to you if you if you think this is a cool idea already. All right, so I think we're almost to like the I think we wanted to make it like this tall and then we'll decrease down and then we'll increase out again. Um so just a little bit more. This is a big snowman though. Uh, Busy Bee says, this is unrelated, but can you crochet more Animal Crossing? Uh, yeah. I, you know what I really want to start crocheting is the, the new gyroids. I love the gyroids. They are so cute. My favorite one so far is, um, I really like Arfoid or, um, there's one that like looks like like it's got, it kind of looks like a relic a little bit. So it, it's got like a, it's got like, like a bunch of like rainbow hairs on its head and it like, like wiggles like that. Johnny, yes, seriously. Uh, can you email me to remind me after this to, uh, to get his opinion? I would love, I'd love some people's opinions on, on this. Um. I'll work on it a little bit more this week so that it's a little bit more put together and and built into one consistent like thing before I send it to someone to look at. But I would love feedback on it from, especially from people that are dungeon masters and have played things like that before. Can I crochet more goblinoids? Absolutely. That is definitely going to be a big thing next uh, in 2022. We're going to be making a lot more, uh, uh, goblinoids for sure um email me at louis at g uh, louis at club crochet.com louis at club crochet.com that's my that's my club crochet email and, and honestly that's the email i check the most so if you ever want to email me that's how you do it three four five six okay so we're doing so if you are crocheting along with me we increased up to we increased up to 36 stitches around and then we single crocheted for seven rounds in a row so just single crochets into each each stitch for seven rounds in a row so that is where i'm currently at we increased up to 36 and then single crocheted for seven rounds in a row and then after this round we're going to start decreasing it down and i'll show you how to make um that cool little seamless seam is what i'm calling it okay and this is going to be the end of the round one more here will be the end of the round But we are rocking and rolling. Really, we are cruising. I think this is going to be really cool to make a giant snowman. That should be pretty fun. I mean, he's going to be massive, though. We're going to get him to be like, he could be like that big, which is pretty massive for a snowman. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Five Worlds Explorer says that they're going to meet me one day. Well, I hope you do. Um, I am in San Francisco. I think the best chance you're going to have to meet me is to go to Stitches West. It's a um, it's a big event for knitting and crochet that's going to be in, I think it's in March next year. Let me look. Stitches West is what it's called. 
It is in March. Yes, March 3rd to the 6th. It's in Sacramento, California. And I'm going to have a booth there. So you can come say hi to me there if you'd like to. I would absolutely go crazy if uh, someone from a live stream comes and says hello to me at, at Stitches. That would be so freaking cool. That would be the coolest thing ever. <laughs> Roberta, you're over Christmas already? It just started. You're crazy. You're crazy, Roberta. You're crazy. Okay, so here's what we're doing now. Okay, so we've we've done our seven rounds of single crochets. Now we're going to decrease down from 36 stitches to 30 stitches. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to do four single crochets and then an invisible decrease. Wait, I think that's right. Let's see. Let me just make sure. One, two, three, four. And then, yes, an invisible decrease. Okay. So four single crochets, then an invisible decrease, and we're going to repeat that six times around. So six of those. Two, three, four, and then an invisible decrease. That's it. That's all you got to do for this round. Pretty easy. We're decreasing down to 30 stitches around. One, two, three, four, and then invisible decrease. Pretty easy squeezy lemon peasy. Um, but yeah, I want to start doing more events like Stitches next year. I think my goal is to do like three of them at least. Um, I really would like to do four of them. But definitely do three. Whoa! I heard that one. I heard it this time. Cooper, thank you so much! Cooper donates with a big $20. All right, Cooper. I have something very special for you, Cooper. I was ready for you this week. I was like, you know what? I got to have something ready for when Cooper ends up naturally donating because I know he was going to. We're going to add this fella with a snowball. Ba -ba -da -ba. Cooper says that they will take the left side. Perfect. I made you a purple Pikmin. Now, it's, I mean, it's not for you. This is my purple Pikmin. You can't have purple. This is my purple Pikmin. But uh, I did I did save it because I knew you were going to donate and I knew you'd love it. Um, purple Pikmin are my favorite Pikmin, by the way. If you're, if you're ever curious about which Pikmin's my favorite, I like the purple the most. Um, and I also really like the white ones. A lot too, and I like the yellow ones a lot. Honestly, it's hard to s decide between my second favorite, but I do know the purple is my favorite. So uh, I made this purple Pikmin. This is part of the Pikmin Rough Drafts. I haven't added the the addition for this purple Pikmin yet, so I'm gonna have to add uh, the instructions for that soon. Um, but there is a rough draft on the website for how to crochet a Pikmin. Boop -boop -boop. There's a little yellow Pikmin here in the other thing. There it is. So the rough dress for these Pikmin are on the on the site. Um, I'm adding the PDF this week, and then I'm going to try recording it and coming out with it in like a week or two. So look out for it there. But I'm going to put this right here for you, Monsieur. Monsieur Koopa, your purple Pikmin awaits. Ready to fight. Snowball fight. Okay, it's two on two. And you know what? This is a pretty even match in my opinion so far. Pretty even match. I like how this this snowman's in the middle, like as a like as a um, referee or something. How do you keep a one year from lose? How do you not lose your hook for one year? That's a great question. Uh, I lose my crochet hooks so often, so I don't know. And then I find them in my, um, in the couch. Sometimes I like take the couch apart. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have four crochet hooks in this couch. And then I, it's like, uh, it's like Christmas. You get a bunch of crochet hooks for free. All right. I'm also about to sneeze. <laughs>
sometimes when I'm doing a video, I sneeze in the middle of the video and I have to like, I'll be like crocheting something, you know, I'll be doing this and then I'll hold right there so I won't move and I'll sneeze and then I'll get back to it and then I'll cut the video like that and you never even notice it. you never notice it ever. I'm very good at it. It's because like all this fuzz gets floating in this little like ecosystem I have. And it makes me sneeze. Thank you for the bless you. Um, all right. So this next round, I think we're cool with just decreasing it once and then doing the body. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So this next round is what we're going to do after we've decreased it down. And this is where we're going to be making our neck. So if you're following along, regardless of if you are making your snowman this big or not, this is how we're going to make our little like neck uh, brim thing. So see how it like kind of boop, boop. And it looks like it's seamed together, but it's not actually seamed together. I call this the seamless seam. It makes this like little fat increase kind of up. Um, you could just go straight to the next round where you're increasing out, but it, I don't know. To me, it doesn't look as like, as like, there's not as sharp of a little edge you know, because I really want there to be like a very clear difference between the head and the body. And if I just increase it up, it kind of just makes it go like, like it makes the, it makes the increase like more smooth. So instead of it being like a crimp like that, it's more of like a like this when you don't do this method that I'm going to show you. So we're going to make it, I want to make it so it's like that, you know, so it's like a really sharp um, like angle. So what we want to do with that is it's actually not too tough. All you need to do is single crochet in every stitch around, but you just need to work into the back loop only. So if I zoom in here, uh, we're gonna crochet into each stitch around, but we're only gonna go in this back loop right there. Speaking of Pikmin, I think this is a Pikmin song in the background. Okay, so we're just gonna go into those back loops and I'm just gonna single crochet into every stitch around working only in back loops for the entire round. So one round of just single crochets in the back loop. And then I will show you what to do after that. Mint and moment. Louis, how can I donate? There's two ways you can donate. The first way you can donate is by going to clubcrochet.com slash tip. Um, that's probably the best way to donate. Uh, just simply because YouTube doesn't take a cut of the donation um, and it will show up right here if you want. Uh, or you can donate by doing a um, YouTube uh, uh, super chat. And how to do a super chat is next to the chat, there should be a little dollar icon. And if you click that dollar icon, you can tip on YouTube and then it'll come up on, in the chat itself. And it'll, you can kind of see, actually you might be able to see um, Johnny's tip is still there just for like, I think it's gonna be there for like another four minutes because she tipped very big. Um, which again, thank you so much, Johnny. Um, uh, but yeah, it'll be up here in the chat, wherever the chat is for you. And then I'll put something out for you. Or you can become a Club Crochet member also. Membership will give you a, a crochet thing. I'll put something out for you as well. We got a New Englander. Yeah, you know, I did notice, uh, so Cold Blood Adventures brings up a good point. Um, in my other pattern for the smaller snowman, I decreased down in this round that I'm currently on. Instead of doing single crochets in each stitch, I actually decreased down and then I increased back up. But I actually kind of found that just doing single crochets makes it a little bit easier. I think the decrease makes that sharp angle a little bit more pronounced, but uh, it does make it a little bit more difficult which is why I didn't really explain that in this. But if you would like to uh, learn more about this method that I'm doing right now, uh, I do have a tutorial. You can find it by going to clubcrochet.com slash seamless seam. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. And that is where I put the tutorial for this. I have a video tutorial and PDF and uh, 
tutorial on the website, all that fun stuff. Where am I from? I, we are in San Francisco, California. Been here for a long time. Been here a long time. Long, long time. All right, so we have done our round of just single crochets into the back loops only. Now into this next round, let's do our, our creepy word zoom in again. Aww. There we go. We got some angels singing to us in the background. Which is wonderful, wonderfully beautiful. All right, so for this next round, we're going to do, um, we're gonna increase back up. So where we decreased in two rounds before, we're gonna increase up. So we're gonna do four single crochets and then an increase. But this time we're gonna work into the front loop that we didn't work into in the last round. So we're gonna work into this front loop and into both loops or just the front loop. Actually, you can just do the front loop. Um, you don't really need to work into both. You can do both loops or the front loop. We'll just do a front like that. Oh, Jules is home and she closed the door. Which is not good because we got a Jimbo sleeping on a couch in here. And he's only going to be here for so long. Anyhow, so you want to go into both of these stitches like this. And we're going to do that round into these stitches and says so We're going to do one, two, three, four single crochets and then an increase into that one. That is the plan there. That's the plan, Stanley. Stanley, is that you? There we go. All right. Three and four. And then we're going to do an increase. Five, six. And see, look at how, look at that. See how sharp it's gonna be? Boink, comes straight out. It's gonna look like it's sewn together, but it's not. Yes, we. I think we can say hello to Jules, but let me, let's, let's, let's see what her deal is. She did just get home. Oh, and now she just left again. I don't know where she went. Oh, I think she's taking out the, compost and stuff. I think she's doing I think she's doing some uh some chores, which is nice. Cuz now I don't have to do those chores. <laughs> Just kidding, I definitely do. I got to take out the kitty litter. Ugh, it's the worst job. Worst job in the house taking out the kitty litter. Anybody else hate that? Oh, uh I did actually want to talk about another reason why the seamless seam is really nice um, or really useful. So if you were to crochet this around and instead you didn't do that round where you worked into the back loops only, and instead you just skipped straight to the round where you're working only in the front loops and doing an increase. So we do in this round right here, but not working into these and instead just working into this front one, what you would have is a really open stitch, which would show through the stuffing really, really obviously, which is where the seamless seam kind of is really nice because it it hides that the open stitch with a round of crochet behind it, so you can kind of see it. Actually, let's see, let me show you. Okay, there we go. You see how this like really opens that stitch up? See how dark it is right there. That's because the stitch is really opened up. If there wasn't this little block right here, you'd see just straight into the body. So stuffing would really come out really obviously. So that's another reason why the seamless seam thing is uh, really useful. Um, I, I wanna redo this purple Pikmin and use this for the purple Pikmin as well to make it a little cleaner. Because what I did with this purple Pikmin is what I did before where I just decreased down and then increased up. And you can see how it's like not really as sharp of a change as I wanted it to be. I want it to be more like, you know, make him look a little chubbier. How many pets do I have? I have got two pets. We've got Jimbo's, uh, we got a Jimbo's. We got a Jimbo and we got a Phoebe. Um, Jimbo is our furry attention loving kitty cat uh you've probably seen him on the live stream before he's very white and fuzzy 
and uh, you've definitely seen his fur before because it's on like all my crochet. Here's a little, a little fur on this purple Pikmin. It gets everywhere. Um, so that's Jimbo. And then Phoebe is our quieter, uh, more cat-like cat. Jimbo's kind of like a dog of a cat. Whereas Phoebe is a little, she's super cute. She's just this little tiny tabby cat. She's very secretive, uh, but she's so sweet. When she loves you, she loves you so much. And I love her a bunch. But those are our two kitties. Um, yes, so uh, Roberta asks, am I crocheting in the black back loop only on the last round? Yeah, so the round prior to this, I was crocheting only in the back loop only. Again, let me zoom in again to do this one more time. So in our previous round, oh, Johnny, thank you for email, emailing me. I just saw it. Uh, in the last round, I was crocheting only in the back loop only, which is why you have this little stripe here. So this last round, I just did single crochets into the back loop only. And in this round that we're currently working on, we're working both in the front loop only of that round that we skipped. So this front loop that we skipped and then the front loop only of the round that we're currently working on. See, so both these front loops simultaneously. You can work into both these loops like this as well if you'd like to. It doesn't really matter that much. I haven't seen too much of a difference between working in that and just working in the front. Um, but I'm just gonna work in the front like that. Just like that, see? And then we're doing our stitches. So we're doing four single crochets and then we're doing an increase into the where we did our invisible decrease in two rounds before. So you can kind of see that's our invisible decrease right there. It's kind of hard to tell because it's invisible, but there's an invisible decrease there. Go front loops only, and we're gonna do an increase. So two into that same stitch to increase it up. And it's gonna create this little fat body. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any other questions about that. I'm here to help. I'm here to help. Um, Johnny, did you get that explanation? Let me know if you uh, need any extra explanation there. Oh no, I missed a donation. Chirp a little. I did miss a donation. Chirp a little. Thank you so much. Ooh. Oh, I missed two donate. Oh, I missed two big donations. Oh my gosh. Another to so trying my best. Wonderful name. Donated 30 bucks, which I totally missed again. I'm so sorry trying my best. If you're in the chat, I I really am. I'm sorry that I keep missing it. Um, I need to make that noise louder or make it more obvious. Maybe like flashing lights, something like that. Um, so try my best. Donates 30 bucks, which is a lot. So we're going to do another big person. He want, They want theirs on the right side again. They want their side to win. So we want... We'll do this guy. This guy's name is. This is for you trying my best. A big, big hobgoblin. And he's covered in these little purple things. These are called. Um, this is called fungus fever is what these are called. Uh, and it's by not taking a bath after being in mud uh, at a in a mud bath. He actually runs the mud baths in this story that I was telling you about. Uh, and his name is Mad Mikey, um, but he's actually really nice. I don't know why he's called Mad Mikey. He's a very, he's a very nice fella. Um, and he talks like, his voice is like, um, oh, how does his voice? Y'all want a mud bath? Five gold for a mud bath. That's how he talks, he talks like this. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Um, kind of like he's in like a swamps of of Louisiana or something. Um, but yes, this is for you. Trying my best. Thank you so much for your donation. Um, uh, I hope you like it. Going on the right side, and then we also have a little donation from Chirp a Little who wants to add a burb to the right side. Well, okay, we need our referee to get out of the way here. 
it's getting a little it's getting a little messy all right so we want hold on we need to make sure everybody's in here because we got two big boys here on the right side big big boys there we go there we go we just need a little bit of room and then oh man the right side is going to be overwhelmed or the left side is going to be overwhelmed and then we got a burb request so we're going to do a pigeon with the snowball and they've requested that their pigeon chirp a little request that their pigeon be on the right side so right is that correct yes add a burb to their side yes there we go so it's four on two now there oh and here's here's your little burb He's got a little snowball. I get out of snowball to him. Okay. Thank you for your donation, Chirp a little. And then we actually have another one, Masha. Ma oh, mint and moment, Masha. Thank you so much. Uh, you didn't make a request. If you have a request for a specific character, let me know. Otherwise, um, we've got a few that we can add to your side if you'd like. And also, which side would you like to be on? Um, I suggest you go on the left side as it's clearly need some help but you choose masha it is all up to you um you let me know i'll give you like a few minutes and if you don't uh then i will um i'll add something for you i'll make the executive decision for you but while you're doing that let's go ahead and just keep crocheting here sometimes when i talk i feel like i sound like a um like, you know the tram ride at Universal Studios? Anybody know what I'm talking about? You know when you're, like, riding the tram around the back of Universal Studios? Sometimes I feel like I'm talking like that. And so, if that's upsetting to anybody, I apologize. I don't know why. And also, I don't know why you deserve an apology for that. It's kind of cool. Ooh. Left side. No, no, okay, mint and moment, good choice, but no preference on which character you'd like, which is fine. That is okay, we'll add a goblinoid or something to it. All right, so this next round, by the way, while they're making that decision, this next round, we are increasing up yet again. So you want to do two rounds of increases after you've done the seamless seam. So we finish the seamless seam and see how we've got like this little, it's starting to angle out there. So in this next round, what we want to do is increase up yet again uh, another round. So for our last round, we did four single crochets and then an increase. In this round, we're going to do five single crochets and then an increase. So the increases are in the same spot. And we're going to do six increases total. Uh, and that's going to increase up a little bit bigger than the head. So you want to just make it the body to be a little bit wider than the head. So our body or our head was um, 36 stitches around. So our body, we want to get at least to 42, maybe to 48 stitches around uh, to be a big, a big fat snowman. So that is what we're going to do here. So we have got five single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and then an increase. And we're going to repeat that all the way around. Okay, no preference on character. Perfect. One, wunderbar, wunderbar. All right, let's go with... Um, Let's go with, how about an, would, how about an octopus? How about a chef to puss? Chef to puss? I think that, that sounds right to me. Chef octopi. Chef to pie. Going to the left side. We got a lot of purple going on over here now, but I love it. Purple is my favorite color. All right. Look at how cute that is. You know what? Maybe we put it here in his mouth. So he's going to shoot it out. There we go. Let's give a little bit more space here. I 
That's pretty good, though. Man, but this, this side is really... Got a lot. A lot of big boys. I think that's the trick. Yeah, no, we started on the head, and we're moving down to the body now. And we're actually going to add all of our face after we've made our whole body. So we can just keep... Uh-oh, he dropped his snowball. He's ready to shoot it. Okay, we'll keep it in his hand then. Or in one of his arms. He's got eight of them, so he could have a lot of snowballs. Yes, it's an Octorok. Except instead of shooting rocks, they shoot uh, snowballs. It's a snow Dorok. Procrastinating Pigeon says... Uh, donates, thank you so much for Crescenting Pigeon. And they want something on the left side. Let's go with... Hmm. Let's go with... The, like, let's go with goblins, you know? Let's let's get a goblin in there. A goblin. Here, I've got one just for the occasion. Where do you put it? Maybe I don't. Where'd it go? I had a goblin. Oh, it's in the, it's in here. There we go. Now, here's the problem, though. For some reason, we've run out of snowballs, so I've got to make a new snowball. Because I do have another snowball, but it's actually attached to someone. We don't want to detach it to him. So we're going to add an, a snowball for your little goblin here. Procrastinating pigeon. Thank you again for your donation. Quite appreciate it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Chirp a Little asks for Monsieur Quack on the left side, which will make the left side have more. How exciting. Okay, wait. One second. We got to do some snowballs here then. Okay. I'm just going to use a needle. And don't worry, we'll be using all these snowballs again in the future to make another snowman. So if you're like, you're wasting all this yarn. No, we'll just reuse it. I'm just going to use it to make a like a patchwork snowman. I had already thought about it. All right. So we got this little goblin here. And, and Procrastinate Pigeon, if you'd like to name your goblin, um, you can name it if you'd like to. Uh, you, is This one actually does not have a name. And he's got, look at this cute little outfit. Isn't it so cute? So go ahead, give our give your goblin a name if you'd like to. We'll add him right here. And then we've got a, a Monsieur Quack on the left side. Now here's the thing with Monsieur Quack. We do have a. Hold on. Okay, so we do have an issue. And that is that last night as I was getting set up. Monster Quack fell, and the problem is not that we lost Monster Quack himself, because we do have Monster Quack here, but we lost, um, we lost his head. So Monster Quack is coming in headless. I don't know where his head is. I was looking for it all last night. I couldn't find it, and I was like, oh, it's, I'm so tired. I just need to go to bed. I'll find it tomorrow. But I didn't find it tomorrow. So, Monster's Quack coming in headless. Which is good, because he's got better vision anyhow. He can see better. So we've got, got to add a snowball for Monster Quack. And then, trying my ba best, another 10 bucks from trying my best. Says they need to balance out, out the teams again. And add something to their side. Add something to the right for them. And I have just the, I've got just the character for you now. One second, let me... Let me finish this snowball for Monster Quack here. But I already have one ready for the right side, which is why I haven't been putting anything out yet for him. Go ahead and do that. There we go. Okay. In here, and there we go. He's got a baguette in the on one side and a snowball on the other side. 
There we go. Monster Quack is here. Can he go on that head? No. We'll put him right here. Wow. Our battles. The battle is absolutely commencing here. No question. And here's what I got for you, Miss Trying My Best. Thank you so much for your donation. We've got a, an orc with a snowball in his bow, so he's going to shoot it. I thought this was so cute, so we're going to add this for you right over here. Man, this battle is getting intense, though. Wow, wow, wee wow. Whew, getting heated, getting heated. All right, let's keep going. And I'll get another snowball made if anybody donates again. All right, so we are on to uh, this round where we're still increasing out. And then we're going to have like a bunch of rounds of single crochets. At it. Oh boy, chirp a little. Wait, what did they say? Okay, a mini burb on the left side to add to Monsieur Quack. Yes, this won't add to your team technically. Because we can't just allow just like a bunch of $1 donations equal a $10. You know, that just doesn't seem very fair. But we will add something. We'll add a little partner to your character. A little tiny itsy bitsy burb to go on Monster Quack. There you go. Oh my god, that's so cute. Thank you, Chirp a Little. Oh. Oh, Monster Quack was supposed to be on the right side, not the left. Okay, so, geez, Louise. Okay, so Monster Quack's going over here. Oh, no. It's off balance again. Um, okay, wait. wait. We'll put Monster Quack. No. Man, it's right side. It's these big boys. They're too big. Okay, I'm sorry that this guy's a little out of camera, but he is there. A little bit more. I've only got so much room. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. All right. So <laughs> now the right side is definitely over. Overpowered. But that's okay. Brown, um, uh, Bronyan, Bronyan, that's it, right? I think. Anyhow, they asked, are my streaming over Christmas or the new year? Let me tell you the streaming schedule for this uh, month in general. So I do have the streams planned, at least some of them. We're doing uh, one stream on, oh, where's my calendar? Oh, there it is. So we're doing a stream next Sunday on the 12th, same time, same place. So 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, uh, next Sunday. We're going to be making our um, our elf on the shelf. And then after that, we're doing one on the um, 15th or maybe it's the 22nd. Hold on. Let me let me make sure. And let me keep crocheting as this loads. Nicole wrote it down for me somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Wait. And what day was it? Live stream. Ah, there we go. The 22nd. Yes, it is the 22nd. We're doing the gift box on the 22nd, which is a um, a Wednesday. Oh, you know what? I might need to move that, actually, because I think I'm going to see a show on that day. So I might need to move that one. But we will have one next Sunday. And we might need to move the one after that to the day before. So... 
I will figure that out uh, later today and and get it scheduled out for us. Bobby, you should get your kit way before then. Um, they are being shipped out right now. I think the elves are already shipped out. So if you um, got an elf, your kit should be there pretty soon. Um, if you've got a present kit, it'll be there slightly later than the elf, but in time for the live crochet along. I think we want to go out even one more round. So I think we want to get them pretty, pretty chubby, right? So what we're going to do is we're doing another round here where we're increasing up. So the last round we did one, two, three, four, five, and then an increase. This round we're doing six and then an increase. So we're increasing up this time to, um, to 48 stitches. So we're going to have a 48 stitch count by the end of this round. And then we'll just do single crochets for a while, which is going to be pretty nice because then I don't really need to think too much. I can just crochet and look look and talk with you guys subby subby says that we are 89 likes away from 200 already oh my gosh that was quick so if you go ahead and like this video if you if you like it we're gonna we're trying to get to 200 likes and then we're gonna do a giveaway next week if we get to 200 likes oh uh so bobby every month um we well not next month, but most months I give you an option for your kit. If you want like the elf on the shelf, uh, if you wanted a, um, a present gift box, uh, and basically you get to choose between a beginner kit and a non beginner kit. You should have gotten an email from me, uh, that says like, Hey, choose your kit for next month. And in that email, you get to like go to, uh, you go to a form and then you choose which kit you really want to get next month. Um, luckily, you want the elf because uh, that was the automatic one. So if you didn't choose, you got you got the elf on the shelf. Um, but next month, uh, there's not an option. But if if I do give you an option like that, uh, I'll make sure to email you about that option. Um, I'd like to start building something on the website so that there is. Uh, you can like choose which option you're always going to want. So like if you want to get beginner kits, m you'll be like, okay, I automatically choose beginner kits if that is one of the choices instead, you know, something like that. So we're working on something like that for the website, but you are getting the, the elf on the shelf. Oh, I did announce the winner from the October challenge, but you know what? I didn't post it right. But the winner was um, Tom the Yeti, who actually might be here. Uh, if Tom, say hello if you're if you're around. You won the giveaway. I'm I'm sorry. I thought I posted it right, but I guess I didn't. So I will uh, I'll post something about it um, after, or I, I'll post something about it tomorrow for you. Um, but he won, and he made this adorable little um, crocheted ghost with a pumpkin like a little pumpkin hat on it it was so cute and the picture was so well made so uh yeah congratulations tom i'm sorry if i didn't announce it right i that was a weird month we just had so much going on so i kind of i kind of like dropped the ball a little bit there and i'm really sorry about that but i want to do another challenge like that soon uh but i think we're gonna have to maybe skip this month since it's just been too crazy Um, okay, so Cold Blooded Adventures asks, how many rounds of single crochets did I do for the body of the snowman in the thumbnail? By the way, I'm at that part for this uh, snowman as well. So at this point, we are just doing single crochets into every stitch around for really as long as we want it to be. Um, the body will be, I want to get probably about that big. So we've got like, probably eight eight or nine rounds of just single crochets for this snowman what what i did was uh we increased up only to oh you know what i did something a little different here which i probably should have done this piece too should i do that Nah, it's okay um so what i did on this one 
is I increased it a little bit slower. So what I did was I increased out and then I did um, like a, uh, instead of increasing six times, I increased three times. So I did, um, so we had a round of one, two, three, four, five. And then we had a round, so we had a round where it went up to 30 stitches around. And then it went up another three. So it went to 33 and then eventually up to 36. Um, I just got to write this one down for you guys. And then after I did that, I did one, two, three, four rounds of single crochets after that. And also it has an open bottom. I don't know if I showed that, but it does have an open bottom. So maybe I should redo the last round to make it increase out slower instead. So it's not like, bruh. Instead it's like, woo. Yeah, you know what, let's do that. Okay, so I'm gonna undo a round. I'm sorry. I'm undoing a round of single crochets here because we want to increase out a little slower. So we want to get to round. First we need to find where the end of the round is. I think we're at the end of the round right now. So we want to go out to three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. All right, let me get to where we need to right now and then I'll explain where I went back. Uh oh, I took a picture. Oh boy. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I took a picture by accident. Oh, Tom, yeah, you're there. Hello. I knew you were going to be here. Gretel. Yes, Gretel the ghost. Okay, so let me explain now because I just went back a bunch. Um. So after doing our seamless seam round, we increased up a round. And then we increased up a second round after that Um, to three, four, five, six, seven. So to 42 stitches around. And now we want to go up. So we had a round of 42 stitches for the body. And now we want to go up around, but not up six stitches. So we're not increasing six times. We're only going to increase three times. So to do that, what we did before was we did one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we would do an increase, seven, eight. But this time we're going to instead do um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 stitches. And then, uh, and then an increase. And we're going to repeat that three times around. Which will bring us up from 42 stitches to 45 stitches around. So by the end of this round that I'm coming back to, we're going to have 45 stitches around. And then we're going to do that again in the next round. So we're only going to increase up three times. Um which will make us slowly increase up our body. So we're what I'm what I redid here was I'm making it so that the body doesn't like get really big really fast. Instead, I slowly work it up, which will make the body kind of like it'll go like boo. You know, instead so, like it would have went like ba, but we want it boo. <laughs> Tom the Yeti. I'm always watching. Always watching. That was a pretty good impression. Uh, not gonna lie. Mike Wazowski. Oh, we got a donation. Oh, Cooper. Cooper says they got a skedaddle. Well, thank you so much for joining, Cooper. Uh, uh, please reach out. I want to send you that rough draft thing for the, um, for the stitched uh, story mode that I'm working on. I'd love for your, I'd love to see, get your opinion on it. Um, but they said, let's get someone to no man's land to try to meditate, uh, mediate this war. Oh, he wants someone in the middle to make everybody chill out. Okay, fine, fine, fine. It's not gonna work, but I will put someone there. Let's see, let's see, what do we got here? Who's the best mediator? Let's 
let's do let's do Oh, I just found Poyo. I don't know what he's doing there. That's weird. Um, okay, let's do... Uh, oh, let's do Santa. Okay, Cooper. We're going to put Santa in the center, and he's going to try to chill everybody out so that we don't have too big of a... Of a Snow snowball fight here, but he's probably gonna get pelted with snowballs. Let's not let's let's be honest, you know. Um, if you want this Santa pattern, it's on the website just at clubcrochet.com slash Santa. You can find it there. Um, and it's a very cute little Santa pattern. Look how cute he was. This is from last month's kit, actually. So he's got a little thing here. And the idea here is that you make your um this so that's got a loop in it, like that. So you can hook him onto a Christmas tree so he's hanging from a Christmas tree. So he's like this. Or he's hanging from a door or whatever you want him to be hanging from. So let's put him right here to mediate. So he's in the center, okay? Maybe everybody's going to hit him with snowballs soon. We'll find out. He's snowproof, yes. He is snowproof. Oh, I totally agree with the crochet corner. The crochet corner says that they that everyone should subscribe. And I agree. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Like this video if you can. If we get to 200 likes today, we're going to do a giveaway next Sunday on our um, Elf on a Shelf crochet along. Okay, so we're still doing our round of 13 single crochets and then an increase. Okay, so I just finished our round of 13 single crochets and then an increase. So now in this next round, I'm doing 14 single crochets and then an increase. And we're repeating that three times around, which is going to bring us up from 45 stitches to our final stitch count, 48 stitches around, which is going to be as big as we want our snowman before we just do rounds of single crochets to make it as tall as we want. So now we will have it as fat as we want and then we want to make it as tall as we can. Not as we can, but as we want. So 14 single crochets and then increases. Oh yes, definitely join our Discord channel if you haven't yet. There is a Discord, there's links in the description of this video to join the Discord channel if you'd like to. Um, you can use the Discord channel to talk to people about whatever you want, really. But also share crocheted things that you've made, ask for help. Um, we talk about video games. We've been trying to do some more movie nights over there. Stuff like that. I think I'll probably do a movie night soon over there sometime this month. I want to, I think, I think watching Elf would be pretty fun. So maybe we'll do that. I'll start to plan that this week. Okay. All right. So that's our end of our increases up and you can see how our snowman's starting to be built. Okay, he's got like a little fat little neck. This is going to go down a little bit, so he's going to have a little bit more of a fat there. And um, I'm going to just stuff our head up a little bit right now, just so that we have like just something to work with. Because when it's this empty, it's kind of hard to like work into a piece. So we're just going to fill his head up with a little bit of stuffing. There we go. And now we have like... Something a little bit more dense. He kind of looks like a ghost right now. Takoyaki! Hello! Oh, let me tell you guys about a cool thing that I did this week with Takoyaki. So Takoyaki um, has a really cool event that him and his classmates do. 
where they interview um, uh, entrepreneurs and they talk about just whatever. So him and his class interviewed me this week. Uh, me and um, Sir Pearl Gray too. So we have we went into a live stream. Uh, I think this was on Wednesday. And we just talked crochet. We talked about like what it's like to run a crochet business. Um, we talked about just like how how to how difficult it is to live stream and stuff like that. Um, he might actually be able to share a link. I think they've got a Facebook group. I think the group is something about like powerpreneur powerpreneurs. I think that's what they're called. Um, but our live stream or our interview was called. Um, uh, crochetpreneurs, something like that. Oh my gosh, Bobby, absolutely. Um, Bobby asks if uh, I'm liking it not ha like working crochet full time. Yes, no question in my mind. It is uh, a huge relief um, to just be able to crochet because like, I mean, you might have not seen too much of the results of it yet, but I have been working on so many tutorials, like a crazy amount of tutorials. Oh my gosh, Jiminy is like laying down and stretching right now, and he is just too cute. Let me finish this round, and then we'll have Jimbo say hello, and then I'll let him out. He's extremely cute right now. Just woke up from a nap. Hey, we got a new member. Hold on. We'll add a we'll add a fighter to the left side to make things even out a little bit. Cuz the right side's got 2 3 4 5 6. Left's got only 5 or only 4. So we got to add at least one over there. Okay, so see, we're just going to be crocheting down now. We want them about that big of our snowman, so we need, like, a bunch of rounds of single crochets to get to there. Um, okay, well, but before I do that, we got a new club crochet member, Jennifer. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind, I take it back. I take it back. Jennifer isn't a new member. Uh, she canceled her membership. <laughs> Which is okay, too. I get an email whenever someone makes a new membership and cancels a new membership, which is a-okay. Thank you for being a member while you could, Jennifer. But we will not be adding a snowball fighter for you today. Ooh, chirp a little. You got to go because it's, m like, almost midnight. Well, good luck on your um, lecture tomorrow. What are you what are you lecturing? You hope all the amigurumis make peace and turn against the viewers. <laughs> You're a dork. Ooh, loud. Loud song is loud. We're going to go to there. Okay, let me finish this round real quick, and then uh, I need to get a sip of... Oh, that's right. We need a sip of coffee. We need to show you guys Jimbo and let him free. I think this was actually my last... Oh, no, wait. Okay, we're, we're, we got a little bit more to do in this round, and then we'll, and then we'll do the, all those things that I was just saying. You teach graphic design? That's awesome. We'll have, well, break legs, have fun, uh, and thanks for joining, Chirp a Little, and thank you for your donations. Okay. Ooh, you know what else I want to do? I want to turn on my heating pad behind me. Well, if you don't want to miss the streams again... 
Uh, Crochet Corner says they don't want to miss the streams again. If you don't want to miss the live streams, you know, the best way to do that is to subscribe to this channel and hit that little bell icon so it notifies you whenever we come out with new videos, whenever I start live streaming, things like that. That's the best way to do it. Oh, here's Jimbo. Hey, buddy. Come here. Do you want to say hi? Okay, there we go. I think this is the last stitch. Yeah, there's our last stitch for our round. Jimbo, come here. Where'd you go? Where are you? I can hear you. Oh, there you are. Come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, say hello. This is Jimbo. Hi. He's a snowman himself. You're such a good snowman. Do you want to join the snowball fight? He's sleepy. You give me a kiss? Are you going to give me a bite? Yeah, you're going to try to bite me. He's trying to bite me. He's so cute, though. I mean, look at his belly. God, he's such a chubby boy. Yeah. Okay. We're going to let Jimbo out. Wanna say bye? Say bye. No? Okay. Bye. Freedom. Okie dokie. Turn on our heat pad. Drink a little bit of coffee. What was the other thing I wanted to do? Coffee. Let the cat out. I can't remember. The Crochet Corner asks, what breed is Jimbo? He is cat. He is the breed of cat to be cat. <laughs> Actually, he's kind of like a dog. He's like somewhere in between a dog and a cat. Cat dog. Cat dog, cat dog. Okay, so we're just continually crocheting around here. Heating pad, I got that, I got it. Thank you though, for reminding me. Kelly, welcome to the stream. Slimy Diamond's first live stream. Well, he hello Slimy Diamond, welcome to the live stream. First live stream, well welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're crocheting snowmen. We are already, uh, we're making a big boy. Look at how big the snowman's gonna be. It's gonna be like massive in the center of the room. And then we're gonna give it to my mom. And she's gonna be like, this is a big snowman. I'm gonna say yes. Yes, it is a big snowman, mom. <laughs> so we're on a part now where we're just doing single crochets all the way around. And we still need ideas for hats. Should we do just a top hat? Or should we do something more fun? Should we do like a, like a cowboy hat or a, or a, or a smaller snowman hat? That'd be kind of funny. Huh. So this, oh, by the way, um, if you can get this video to 200 likes today, we're going to be doing a giveaway next live stream. Tina, thank you so much for your donation, Tina. Okay, Tina, we got a new fighter on the, we want a new snowball fighter on the left side now, right? Or Tina, what do you want to do? You let me know. Ooh, a French snowman with a beret. Oh, I like that idea. That's a fun idea. A long pigeon hat. 
That'd be a little silly, I think. Maybe. Oh, yeah, we got bowler caps. Yes. Okay, so right now the winners, in my opinion, are a bowler cap or a beret. I do like a beret idea. Chef hat, I don't know, because it's going to be white like he is, but man, it might not be bad. Chef hat is... We could do a Santa hat. But maybe that's a little on the nose. Look, we got a little bit of dark fur. What is that? I don't know what that is. It's like plastic or something. We're gonna put it in, in, in that snowman's body. I think it was just part of the wool. Long turkey burb. <laughs> okay. Okay, Tina, if you say so. I grabbed a little bit more coffee while I was up. All right, so you're not going to be able to see long turkey much in this, but because he's just so long. Where's our snowball? There it is. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. First, we need to make a snowball for it for... Our long turkey. Just a quick snowball. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna turn that like that. Long turkey's gonna be funny because he's just gonna be in the back. You're just gonna see this long pink thing. <laughs> Yes, a great point, Takoyaki. Takoyaki says, if you're ever in a snowball fight with me, never ask me. Yeah, you and what army? Because I got, I got an army. An army of snowball fighters. Yarn ball fighters? Snarm ball fighters? I don't know, something like that. Okay, that's probably good. Ooh, reindeer antlers for the hat. That'd be funny. That's not a bad idea. Might be a little tough, but I might be able to make that happen. We're already at two hours, so I want to finish this snowman with enough time to make a good hat, too. Okay, so let's go ahead and pin this to our long turkey. Here's your long turkey, Tina, that you ordered. Thank you so much for your donation, Tina. Thank you. That's not what a turkey sounds like. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and long turkey will go like this. Wait. There. That's hilarious because you can't even see the top of long turkey. He's too long. Much turkey, very long. Okay, let's keep rocking and rolling. Get a little bit more comfy here. Eh. Eh. Okay. I think we should also make his buttons for his eyes two different uh, sizes. I think that'd be fun. <clears throat> one big and one small. So it looks kind of like makeshift. Claire made an army of Pikmin. Oh my god, that's so cute. What did you think of the pattern, Claire? Did you have any feedback on, on the rough draft? I don't know if you used my pattern, but if you did, did you have any feedback on the rough draft? Huh. Takoyaki, that won't, that won't be next week's live stream, but we will be doing that soon in the new year. We're going to have a battle between frogs and burbs eventually. So we'll definitely do a live stream where it's just crocheting a bunch of frogs. 
Witchy boy, yes, uh, we are using a new snowman pattern. I mean, it's not really new. We're kind of just like going through it in this video and then I'm gonna write it down after this and you can find it. Well, I'll add it to clubcrochet.com slash snowman. You could choose like if you want a bigger snowman, a smaller snowman, we'll go through it. But um, so it's kinda a new snowman pattern, but not really. It, I'm using an old snowman pattern as the base and then we just made it a lot bigger. Yeah, so yes and no, I'm kind of just like freestyling it a little bit. Are we, no, we're only gonna do two. I, I personally really like it when snowman only have two layers. I don't like a three layered snowman. It's too many layers. I can't eat all those layers of snowman. We're eating our snowman, right? Do you guys not eat snowman? Oh, it's good. You gotta try it. Anyhow, <laughs> weirdo. Um, yeah, I'm only gonna do a double layered snowman just cause I think it, I, I like it more. I think it looks a little bit more cute to me. So we'll just do a double snowman here. But you could do another layer. It's really not too tough to do another layer if you wanted to. All you need to do is basically do what we did for this previous layer where we decrease down around and then single crocheted into the back loops only. And then in the round, so, so let me let me explain that again. So uh, if, you, if you wanted to make another layer of snowman, once you have uh, this as far as we want, actually like right now would be a pretty good time to do it. Um, you would decrease down around. So round one would be decreasing down. Round two, you'd single crochet only in the back loops of a round. And then for round three, you'd increase up, but be crocheting into the front loops of round one and the front loop of round two simultaneously. And by work working into both of those loops at the same time, your, uh, your snowman will... Um, increase up with like a really sharp seamless seam uh, if you want to see the tutorial part where i'm explaining that uh it's somewhere in this video probably around the one minute and 30 or one hour 30 minute mark somewhere around that um if anybody knows the exact time code uh for when i show how to do the seamless seam part uh please link it uh put it in the chat or something for me so that we can find like quickly get to that tutorial and I can add it to the description or something but I think we're gonna do like let's just do two more rounds and then we'll decrease down so it's pretty big but he's not like too crazy massive it'd be like about that tall I think which is, I mean, that's that's a big snowman, but it's not that crazy. And then, you know what I'm gonna do with this snowman? Is I'm gonna put it downstairs. I'm gonna bring it to my mom, but uh, before I do that, I'm going to put it downstairs on the mailbox. We have an indoor mailbox in our apartment building. And I've been meaning to just start like decorating the top of the indoor mailbox. It's just like this really big flat uh, section and I just thought oh man this section needs some love it needs some something something Christmassy on it so I'm gonna do a little scene there for my neighbors to see of a snowball a snowman and maybe maybe we'll add some of these snowball fight creatures and create a little snowball fight down there that'd be fun <laughs> what is this music it's a bop I agree, this is a bop, isn't it? Um, I'm not totally sure. The title is, I found it from YouTube, and the title is One Hour of Autumn Fall Game Music. That is the title of this video. So if you wanted to find it, that's the title. And the song was at the, the time code of about 15 minutes. So if you want to find the song, 
that is how you would find it. I, I don't know it off the top of my head, obviously. Antlers. Everybody wants antlers. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll work on some antlers for our snowman. And then that means that its nose isn't going to be... Oh, ooh. let's do a carrot nose with a little a little ball at the end. So he's like a little Rudolph. He's a Rudolph snowman. That'll be fun. That'll be cute. That'll be cute. And I think what I'm going to do with the antlers is I'm not going to actually sew the antlers on. We're just going to make them and then pin them on instead. And the reason for that is because then we can have, uh, we can remove the antlers and, and change the snowman up. So that way when I give it to my mom, it can be like, hey, look, you can make your snowman with a top hat and, and with a, a party hat and stuff like that. So I think she'll like that a lot. I think she's going to love it. All right, so maybe like two more rounds of single crochets, and then we'll start to decrease down. Yeah, multiple hats. And I'll just like... When I give it to her, it'll be like, oh, she's going to love this. She's going to love it. Ooh, this is like a Halloween song. It's also loud, isn't it? I'm just going to fast forward. There we go. I don't know what song this is, but it's nice. Oh, a scarf. Yes, we need to add a scarf, of course. It's going to be a long live stream at this rate. We need to keep, we need to go quicker. Or my back will turn into mush. Maybe we'll give, maybe we'll do a little five minute break after I finish the snowman part so I could just stand and stretch a little. Oh, thank you, thank you. Um, fancy seam, uh, it's called the seamless seam uh, and it's at one hour, three minutes and 17 seconds. So I'll make sure to add that to the description after this video or in the comments of this video so you can quickly get to that part. And then we'll add this pattern on the website. It'll be a quick pattern to, or live stream to pattern one. Okay, I think this would be the end of that round. Let's just check. Yes. The song is like interesting, huh? Yeah, let's do one more round of single crochets and then we're gonna decrease down. And what's really nice about the end of this uh, pattern is that we're gonna leave him open on the bottom and we're gonna make a little spot for him to have, uh, to keep his little hats in. So that way his hats can can stay with them. So instead of sewing it closed on the bottom, we're gonna leave it open-ended and I'll show you how to how to finish up your snowman as well. Can we name him Harold? Oh, like Hark the Herald, angels and such. That's a cute idea. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what, let's create a Google Doc and you can give me name suggestions. Um, hold on, I'll get it started right now. One sec. Name our snowman. Hold 
on. Uh, so I'm just going to add yours really quick, Kelly. There we go. And there we go. Okay, so I'm putting this in the chat right now. Nay, nay. nay. There we go, and I'll put this in the description as well. There. Okay, so I created a Google Doc. You can find it in the description, and uh, like it's the top link in the description, and uh, it's in the comments right now, and I'll continue to comment it every now and then. And all you gotta do is add your name in there. Let me know if it's working, by the way. And I'm going to turn this volume down just a little bit because it's pretty loud. And so what you need to do is you can just name the snowman there. Okay, people are coming in. Oh, wait, did I not make it editing? Change. Sorry, hold on, hold on. There you go. Now I think you can edit it. Go ahead and give it a shot real quick. I changed it to edit. Let me know if it works. And what I'll do is I'll choose my four favorite names and we'll do a vote on it. And I'll post it um, at the very end of this live stream. I'll post it uh, or actually I'll post it tomorrow. Did it work? Yeah, okay, wait, hold on, I think someone's editing. Tony, yes, Tony, someone added Tony. Who's naming him Tony? Sarah, there you go. I added, I added yours for you, Kelly. Cool, it's working, totally. Someone else is adding something. Blizzy, who, name, who wants to name him Blizzy? Subby. Oh, wait. That was the end of our round there. Yeah, okay. So this is what we're doing in this next round. I don't know what this thing is. Get out of here. All right. Um, let's go back to here. Wait there okay so for those crocheting along let me explain uh let me tell you what this pattern is uh again this is going to be written down a little bit later but let's go into detail really quick and i'll go through from the beginning to the end to where we're at right now to explain um the pattern itself uh, and then someone write this down for me and then i will add it to the website uh tomorrow um after this live stream obviously uh, but it'll be at clubcrochet.com slash snowman. I'll create a new lesson for it. Okay, so uh, we started doing six single crochets into the magic loop. And then we increased. In, that was round one. Round two, we increased in each stitch to get to 12. Round three, we did a single crochet and then an increase six times to get to 18. Round four, we did two single crochets and then an increase uh, six times to get to um, 24. Round three, or wait, round one, two, three, four. Round five, we did three single crochets and then an increase six times to get to 30. Um, round six, we did four single crochets and then an increase to get to 36. And then round, that was round six, right? So we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so round seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and 13. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Seven rounds, we did single crochets. Round 14, we did 
One, two, three, four single crochets and then an invisible decrease. So that was round 14, which brought us back down to 30 stitches around. That was round 14. Round 15, we did a single crochet in each stitch working into the back loop only. Round, I think that was round four, 14, 15, I don't know. Let's say that was round 15. I don't remember. I might have done that wrong. Round 16, we did uh, working into the front loop from round 14 and the front loop from round 15. We did one, two, three, four single crochets and then an increase, which brought us up from 30 stitches to 36 stitches around. I think that was round 16. Round 17. We did one, two, three, four, five single crochets and then an increase, repeated six times around, working into both loops. That was around 17. And that brought us up to 42 stitches around. Round 18, we did 13 single crochets and then an increase, repeated three times around, which brought us up to 45 stitches. Round 19, we did 14 single crochets and then an increase, repeated three times around which brought us up to 48 stitches around. That was round 19, I think. Round tw 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, and 27. So 27. So wait, what was that? 21, 22, or 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Eight rounds. So for eight rounds up to round 27, which is the round we're currently on, we did single crochets into each stitch around, and there should have been 48 stitches per round. That was quite a lot, huh? Yikes almighty. Okay, so now we're on to round... Oh man, I, I think I forgot the count already. 28? I think we're on round 28? 29? 29? Um, and for this round, what we're going to do is we're going to decrease it down. So we want to go from 48 stitches to 42 stitches. So I think what we want to do is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then a decrease, or 6. Yes. 6 single crochets and then an invisible decrease, I'm pretty sure is going to be our thing. Let's just make sure. So we would do... One, two, three, four, five, six. Invisible decrease. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, okay. So six single crochets and then an invisible decrease, which is gonna bring us down to 42 stitches around. I think this is right. Three, four, Six, and then an invisible decrease. The song is perfect for burbs and frogs. Four, five, six, and then an invisible decrease. Yes, okay. We're going to repeat that all the way around. This is going to bring us back down to 42 stitches around. And then we're going to finish our snowman up and, and start adding other parts of him. That was really difficult, by the way. <laughs> hey, Denki. How are we doing here? Yeah, that should decrease us down where we want it to be. Four. And then invisible decrease. Um, Kelly, you made the link for your sister and she loved it so much. Oh, I'm so happy, Kelly. D have you done any of the other ones yet? The, um... The Zelda one is like really hard. <laughs> I tried to make the, uh, I tried to remake the Zelda one the other day, and I was like, "Wow, this is a tough pattern." Um, there's a lot of color changes and stuff that go into it. Uh, and then the, I really like the Bacoblin one a lot. One, two, three, four, five, 
six invisible decrease. You know what makes this so difficult? Is that I didn't use a stitch marker. Which would have made things a lot easier, I think. Okay, but we are done. Let's let's check out how, how this guy looks before we do our last round. For the last round, we're just gonna slip stitch into the front loops for each stitch around. Do we want it decreased down more than that? Or do we like this? I mean, he stands up and it looks snowman-y to me. I think we're good. I think we'll just keep it decreased down once. And let's go ahead and I'd like to start stuffing them up a little bit. And I'm gonna try using some extra yarn that I had. I'll start by stuffing them with that. Give it a little bit of density and then I'll surround that with some regular stuffing. Give it. So that'll the the extra yarn will give it density, and the other stuffing will give it like will fill in the the little spots to make them more round. And it's a great way to get you get rid of extra threads and stuff. See you later, crochet corner. Yeah, Kelly, I need to add, um, I have a, like, a color chart, a new color chart that I've been working on that I want to add uh, to the, that link pattern because it is a little tough, to be honest. Because the color chart really helps it out. That's pretty good. I mean, look at that. That is a snowman for sure. Okay. Yeah, I need to work on a video Kikilan, Kikilani uh, to explain how I do that, how I uh, keep track of my rounds without a stitch marker. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slip stitch into the front loops for all the stitches around. So that's pretty easy. Just a bunch of slip stitches into the front loop only of all the stitches around. And this is gonna create a nice little base for our piece um, and help our help our um, snowman stand up a little bit better. We could decrease down another round if you want to, but I actually think this is pretty good. But you see, I'm just doing front loop only and then slip stitch. And you see how it's making this little border? Right there. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. Do I have any Harry Potter patterns? You know, I do. I have Harry Potter that I have. I have made Harry Potter pod people, but I don't have the patterns for them written. So I have to work on that. Um, but I do. I have a Harry, Ron, Hermione, um, Malfoy, and Hagrid that I've made. Uh, but I need to rework them. Uh, maybe I'll do that next year. Because um, I, I do want to create more of like a tutorial series for pod people. Because I just think it'd be so cool. Too many plans. I got too many ideas, guys. I need to... Uh, uh, Nicole got a little... Um, not upset with me, but she she got like... She did exactly what I hired her for last week. Um, we have weekly meetings to talk about like, okay, what are the things we're working on and and all that other stuff. Uh, and so this meeting, she was like, Lou, I, I can't, I was like, oh, what if we did this? Like a new idea, right? For this month. And she was like, Lou, no, mm -mm, too many ideas. Finish projects. Don't start new ones until more have finished. And I was like, fine. I was like, Nicole, I hate this, but also this is exactly what I hired you for. Thank you for thank you for doing this because you're right. I need to finish projects, not create new ones right now. I can write them down, but I need to finish work first. Okay, so we're almost done with our slip stitches already. Coming to the end right here. Uh, 
I love this song. And see, and those slip stitches actually did make it like decrease a little bit. Like it kind of like pulls this last round in a little bit, which is nice too. Oh, I do. I write. I write all my ideas down. I've got, I've got like, hundreds of notes. Of uh, Google Google documents of just like, here's a cool idea. I just need more. Um, I need help making them. Honestly, <laughs> too many ideas. But now that I quit my job, at least I can like work on more ideas. Okay. Now I'm just doing a hidden end here. So I'm just going into the back loop there. Into this one. So I'm just kind of hiding this end in. I'll just hide it a few stitches up. Like that. I'll cut it a little close. There we go. And we can actually use this little end here to stuff it in. Just add it to our stuffing, because why not? Give it a little bit of space there. And what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little piece of cardboard that can go under this. Um, maybe I'll do it in this video. Maybe I'll do it afterwards. But that way I can, like, kind of technically have it closed so the stuffing isn't just, like, loose and falling around, um, but not totally. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to add our face and our, our body parts before we add our extra stuff. So we're gonna add horns, uh, antlers, and then we're gonna add a little red dot on the end of the nose. Um, but first we wanna make him just like a regular snowman and then we'll add upon that snowman. You know what I mean? Ooh, thank you, Claire. Yeah, can you add that comment to the rough draft for the Pikmin? That would help out. Cause it's just, it's nice to have all the help I can right there. And I'm going to be adding a PDF for that Pikmin pattern uh, this week, by the way. All right, so I need your help deciding on buttons here. I definitely think we want to go a little bit normal on the buttons. So maybe like this. One button. And maybe like... Again, we want to do one big and one like small. So the mis mismatched. I just think mismatched would be really fun. Ooh, that's a good, that's a good button right there. That's a good button. So we'll go maybe that one. I, th I think we need to stay in the realm of brown, though. Oh, I don't like that button. That one's not too bad. Well, let's see. What other buttons we got in this, this box of buttons? Oh, those are weird. Okay, look at, I'm not gonna use this button, but look at this weird button. Look at how weird this is. It's kind of creepy. Isn't it? It's got like these weird little holes in it. Ooh, creeps me out. It kind of looks like a, like a, a bug hive or something. Okay, so we're looking for a brown button. You gotta be careful, there's like a bunch of pins at the bottom of this. That's a brown button. It's, maybe that's a little bad, that's giant. Not that one. You got these ones, we could use that for like, you know. Okay. Honestly, the best ones we got are... Well, this one's actually not bad. Maybe that's a little small. If we did that there, or let's say we could do that one there. That one there. Is that too weird? Oh, it's kind of nice, though. Oh, I kind of... Uh-oh, guys, I'm starting to like it. <laughs> what do we think about this? Is it too weird? Maybe. You let me know. What do you think about mismatched sizing for the buttons? 
I'm gonna grab another one of these just in case though. Um, in the meantime, while you guys are giving me feedback on your buttons, I'm gonna start crocheting our uh, carrot nose. And the carrot nose is gonna be a pretty easy, um, a pretty easy pattern. We're just gonna be using uh, orange yarn for this. And I'm going to be doing, um, using 100% cotton here so that it's a different fabric than the body. Uh, and that's just because it'll like, it'll look like it's made out of something different, which I think will be really nice. Um, bye Johnny. Thank you so much for donating and thank you so much for being here. And, uh, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Johnny. Have a great dinner. What are you making for dinner? Well, you're probably gone, but if you're not, what are you making for dinner? And Johnny says mismatch buttons for sure. Cool. 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 Okay, so for our uh, uh, carrot nose that we're gonna be making here, we're going to be making a slip knot and we're gonna single crochet four times into the into our, the magic loop. We're gonna make a magic loop and then we're gonna do four single crochets into the center of the magic loop. That's gonna be round one. Yeah, we like mismatch buttons more. That's what Madison says. Thanks, Madison. Um, okay, so round two for the nose, we're gonna do a single crochet into the first stitch and we're working in the round now we're essentially doing the party hat pattern here so we're doing a single crochet into the first one and then we're going to do an increase into the next one and then we're going to repeat that one more time single crochet and then increase a fried egg sandwich i want a fried egg sandwich for dinner That sounds great. Ooh, now I want a fried egg so bad. All I've had today is a banana. Okay, so now you have six stitches around. That's round two. And we can actually make that, like we could make this the end of the nose, you know, cause it's, it's really tiny, but oh my God, it's so cute. But we're gonna make it a little longer. We're gonna do another round of just a uh, single crochet. So then th round three for your carrot nose are just going to be single crochets into each stitch around there should be six stitches around still two three four five and six here And let's see how that looks before I decide if I want to increase again. Ooh, that's... Okay, come on, guys. That's pretty cute right there. I think that is our... I think there's our nose. I don't think we should make it any bigger. But if we did want to make it bigger, what we would do is we do uh, two single crochets and then an increase. Uh, repeated once. So let me just do our... Let's just redo this here. But I, I think this is about the size we want for our carrot nose. Right? And then we got button and tiny button. Like that. And then we're going to add a little red dot on the end of this. For, for our antlers. I do crochet some book characters. Uh, I mean, specifically like Lord of the Rings characters and stuff. Um, but yeah, I've crocheted some book characters. Uh, I've never read Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief that you were telling me about right there. Um, I gotta read that. But the idea next year is I want to do that pod puppet um, or how to make your own pod people. So that way you can make ones out of whatever you want. So you don't have to like wait for me to come up with a pattern you can use this tutorial that'll teach you how to make it however you want uh, i agree i agree cloudy that the small one is pretty cute there a little little button nose there um okay 
So next up, we want to add our eyes, and we either want to do... We know we want this little one, because I think the little one and a big one is really cute. But do we want... Do we want this little one and this big one, or this little one and this big one? Light brown or dark brown? Light brown or dark brown? Go, go, go! In the meantime, let me get some water and get um, a little bit of thread. Here's our thread. To sew on our button. Uh, Crochet Corner, did I decide the name for Snowman yet? No, not yet. What we're going to do is um, you can add your name to that list. Here, I'll put it in the chat again. And I'm going to choose my four favorites. And what we're going to do is... Um, okay, everyone's saying dark brown. Cool. Um... Okay, now the only needle that I have right now is this long one. The only needle that will fit into these buttonholes. So we're going to use this ridiculously long needle here. Um, but, yeah, you can add your name to that Google document that I just linked in the um, chat. And it's the top link of the description. And we're going to do a vote uh, of my four favorites. Uh, and then you guys will choose out of the four favorites which one to name our snowman. Okay, and then we're just gonna. Okay, now so to sew on this button, um, first we want to find the back of our piece. So this is the back, and I can just tell because it's just a little bit different. So we don't want to be on that side. We want to be right here in the front, and we'll start like here, and I'll come out through like, well, let's see. We want to have the button like right there, right? So what we'll do is we'll just come out through there like that and we want to leave just a little bit left over so we have something to double knot to I'm gonna go up through one hole there and then down through the opposite side That. and then we're gonna go down so we came out right here we're gonna go down to the right right there and then up like that so we're essentially crocheting it or sewing it on in an X and we're gonna come out the other button and then down through the last hole in through the the one under where we started so here's where we started right we started coming out right there we're gonna come out go back in right there then come out where this tail end is so we have something to double knot it to like that and then we're gonna pull everything tight there you go and that's gonna sew on our little button there and we'll just double knot these together and keep it in place. And we can double knot it relatively tightly too. So it doesn't come apart. Hold on, I gotta change this music because it is not Halloween. Sorry. We're gonna come back to the winner. Let's go back to our winner playlist. Go ahead and cut it kind of close. And we're actually going to need more thread than that. So let's go ahead and pull that to the side. There we go. And then we're going to do our other button over here. And what we can do is um, before we sew on this other button, maybe we sew on the nose first so we can make sure the buttons are far enough away from each other. So let's do our nose next. We'll do our nose like right here. Maybe like right there. 
and then about yeah like right there uh, we need our needle bye Kelly ooh you're gonna get some s'mores cool I want s'mores I'm gonna have s'more in far too long I'm gonna eat some more s'mores than you. Pull through. Okay, now we wanna do six stitches around this and just sew on this nose here. Tina, maybe you can let um people know which uh what name you want and we can add it to the list for you. And then we'll make our antlers after this. Oh wait, no, we'll make a um one. Yeah, okay, we're on our last bit here. that come out through right there we'll double knot these together and then we got our little our little carrot nose on there which i think is actually really great super cute wow wow wee wow hello llama plays you're here again welcome back Up that in there. And then we're going to add the other eye right here. So he's going to have two different size eyes, which I love. Yes, I agree. My mom is going to love, love, love it. Okay, so we want the other eye here, right? So like right like that, or maybe whenever. Yeah, we're gonna go right there. That's where we're gonna come out with our first one. Hopefully it's not, this isn't too far away. If it is, we'll redo it. Harold the Pigeon. That's funny. Uh, Kelly was saying that she wants to name this Snowman Harold, actually. And we'll go up. Cross. See how this goes. 
Let's see how this goes. Does this feel like it's too far away from the other one? Should probably be like there instead, huh? Okay, let's do this over. Just this last part. Just we just we can fix this real easy. And instead, we're gonna go like this. One, two. Up. This needle's so ridiculously long. Long, long needle. Then down and out to where we started. Is there a button? Pull everything tight. Love it. Oh my gosh. She is really going to love this. Okay. I know it's so big. I just I bought them because I I um, needed them for like a project where I was pinning things into a wall and I needed something really long. I actually have even longer ones up there. We'll just go ahead and cut it close. There we go. Now we got our eyes on there. We got our nose on there. Um, next, let's add some stitches, some X's for um, like buttons. We'll add three X's down the body. Uh, and all, that's really easy. We're just going to take this. Uh, we're going to take some black yarn. And we're just going to come out through from like, like right there and then start like we'll start our X's like right here maybe. And then we're going to go down, down, down. And across like that. And then like let's go like right here. So just making little X's down the body. fix this one a little bit there that's a good x we go down 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 like that okay how's that looking pretty good and one more of those. Like that. And then we are going to come out through, actually, let's go like right here. And then we'll move this tail end over to where our other one is. So it's not too far away. Just so we have, we can double knot them on the inside. Right? Um, I got this wool from Joanne Fabrics, I think. Uh, it's just patent classic wool, uh, worsted weight. If you're looking for the same exact wool as I have. Um, but yeah, you're just looking for a worsted weight wool. 100% wool is what you're looking for. That way it gives something for moths to eat. Moths got to eat too, you know. All right. That's pretty good. Like it. Okay. So we got our snowman, I mean, like, technically, technically, we got our snowman done. 
But next up, we want to add our um, our antlers. We wanted to make antlers for our guys. So um, first, we need our yarn for that, of course. Now, do we use? Here's the here's the big question. Do we use this color for antlers, or do we use this color for antlers? I'm inclined to say this one. Yeah, I'm inclined to say that other one. Let's do that. Let's do the lighter brown. So this this shade for antlers. And the antlers are going to be kind of not that tough, not that crazy. Um, all we're going to do for the antlers. Oh, bye, Madison. And hello, Sage. Welcome back. Um, for the antlers, I'm just going to start by doing a magic loop and six single crochets in the magic loop. And then we're just going to do, like, we're going to make it, like, really pretty long. And we're going to put a pipe cleaner in it. And then we're going to add another one to it. So we're just going to do six single cr crochets into a magic loop. Yeah, I totally agree, Llama. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Just like that. And then we're just going to do single crochets for like five rounds, I think. We'll see. Maybe more. One. Okay. Let's see. Because, yeah, that's that'll be good. So let's do a bunch of rounds of single crochets. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a pipe cleaner into the inside of this. Um, so that it's easy for us to add it to our snowman and it'll let us um, curve the curve the horns in a different direction. So this is just 100% cotton in um, I think it's like beige is what the, the color is called. So if you want to crochet it with me, that's what we're using. But we're just going to do like a bunch of rounds of single crochets here to make just like a long tube, essentially. See, so it's just going to go like. And then we're going to do another one of these tubes that we're going to sew onto this tube. Don't forget to add, uh, give us a name for our little snowman here. Again, in the description, uh, there should be a link to a um, a Google Sheet, and you can give suggest a name. We have, I mean, we don't have too many names yet. Uh, we got, let's see, Chip Ch Chippy Chop from Tina. We got uh, Sebastian from Maureen. Oh, I like Sebastian. That's a fun name for a snowman. Sebastian the Snowman. Noel, oh, I like Noel. That's cute. What's the giveaway about? So we're gonna do the giveaway next live stream, but we're gonna do a. Um, there's gonna be a. Well, let's see. Do we have enough likes for a giveaway? Let's try it out. Ah, we don't got enough likes for a giveaway yet. We need 50 more likes, which is fine. We can get there. We can get there. Hopefully, I'll probably do a giveaway anyhow, just because I like you guys. Okay. So this will be four rounds of single. I think we'll do, actually, we might do like eight rounds of single. Seven, eight. So seven or eight rounds, I think, is what we'll do. Ooh, Takoyaki says that the burbs are the best for your snowball fight um, because they can stealthily fly over the enemy and drop snowballs. Technically, in the summer, they also drop snowball of people. They're just much smellier and wattier. Wattier. 
Waterier. More watery? There we go. That's gross, Takoyaki. But totally accurate. Well. <laughs> Okay, so see how this antler is coming together? Maybe like that. A little bit longer. And then we're going to add another one of these little tubes that we're going to sew to it. And then we're going to add a pipe cleaner in it and just shove the pipe cleaner straight into the head of our snowman. And I'm, I'm not going to give our snowman any arms just because I think it's cuter when snowmen don't have arms. But we could add arms in like using pipe cleaners or using whatever, but I don't really want to add arms to the snowman for some reason. I just, I, I don't know. I just think they're so cute without them. I like the simplicity of them, but do you guys disagree? Yeah, watery because it's melting. Sure, 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 sure. How many rounds have we done? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe like this. This one right here. We'll do eight. Okay, we're going to do one more round of single crochets here for our antler. So we want a tube. Uh, we want to crochet six single crochets into a magic loop for round one of the antlers. And then for rounds... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Eight rounds in a row. Uh, we just want to do single crochets. To make like a long tube. Cool. And then we're just going to slip stitch in the last one. Right there. Cut the yarn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Let's make sure. So this is going to be like this. We're going to put a pipe cleaner in it to turn it like that. We're going to add a little tube right here to make it the other part of the antler. Like that. And I think that is long enough. Yes. So cut our yarn. And we're just going to do a hidden end. We can actually cut this tail end as well. And throw that to the side. And then we can take this and just stuff that in there. Am I going to make a pattern tutorial with this snowman pattern? Um, I think this video is going to act as the pattern tutorial and then I'm going to write down the pattern. So the pattern will be written on the website after this video. Uh, just at clubcrochet.com slash snowman. And I currently already have a snowman pattern on there, but it's just much smaller. So I want to do a more in-depth pattern, like uh, written down. What do you think about that? Do we like that idea? I hope you do. Okay, so we got a like a weird little tube there. Now we're going to do another one, but just like pretty small. And then we're going to do that twice. How long are we at? Okay, we're almost at three hours. So I think we'll be done in less than a half an hour from now. Hopefully we have enough of this beige yarn. I'm, I'm just about out of it, so we're gonna be cutting it close. Maybe literally. Five, six. Subby, we don't have a name yet. You have actually suggested a name, I think, already. But you can suggest more than one if you want to. So I think I'm going to do, uh, like, four, three or four rounds of single crochets here. Not very much. Actually, maybe, yeah, maybe just 
two or three. We will find out in just a second. So then this is gonna go like this. We just want it to be like that tall. So yeah, I think three rounds. Oh, uh, fuzzies. We got fuzzies. Watch out. <laughs> Your brain's at max capacity. Mine too. Belly empty. Brain at capacity. I feel ya. Okay, let's see. I only did two rounds there. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, that's actually not gonna be too bad. We might do this instead. So like right there, it'll be like that. You know, like kind of like that. And then that'll be on there. Yeah, I think this is good. Two rounds is fine. We'll just slip stitch it and let's see how it looks. We'll sew this onto the other bit. This tail end. I think we want it sewn on like right there. Yeah. So we'll go here and we'll come out the other side. I when I like to sew things on like this small, I just go through the other the opposite side. What do I use to uh, for the text around the camera, like the newest member and all that? Um, whew, that's a confusing thing here. Um, so it depends on the part of this live stream that you're talking about. Like if you're talking about strictly the um, this part right here. So this all, all this white part is a um, is a border. So here I can actually make it go invisible. See? So it's just this big white picture that I made. And then, um, and then the text, uh, some of the text is there. So like this part, like the snowman part is there and stuff. And then, uh, the, the text on there is actually a custom made thing on the website that was built by our, um, our web developer, uh, Jimmy. So shout out to Jimmy. Thank you for your help. And it just, it just displays our newest member and the newest pro member um it's a little weird right now like this it's all like off base because uh the last person that became a member was just like a really long name um but yeah usually it's not like that it's usually pretty tiny Okay. Okay. All right. So there's the start of our antler. We're gonna make another one of these, but we're gonna put a pipe cleaner on the inside to make sure that it can stay rounded. Let's just double knot these. And put that to the side and I'll just go ahead and 
stuff that back in there. And let's take a pipe cleaner. I'm going to cut it in half. Ruin our scissors, which will be pretty cool. Ooh, only 39 likes to go. Heck yes. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this half pipe cleaner here and we're just going to twist it all the way up. And this is going to create like a little skeleton for our um, antler. Yeah, that'll be good. And now I'm just going to twist it literally all the way up so that we have kind of like a needle at the end here. And we want that because we're going to use this to stuff, sh shove right into the head. So that way he's got like, we can take him out and put him in and stuff like that. So it's just going to be like this, right? And then bend it because he's got a pipe cleaner in it now. Like that. And there we go. Now we have an antler. And we'll just put the antler like here. Like right there. So I'm just going to take my crochet hook, put it into its spot, and like kind of like wiggle it around to create a little bit of space for the pipe cleaner to go in. Like that. And he's gotten, we got an antler. Not bad. Now we just need another antler on the other side. And then uh, our little red dot on the end of our nose. But so far, so good. Now, I think, how many was it again? Eight. Seven. Eight. Okay, so eight rounds. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and make our second antler. Let's make sure we have enough yarn for another antler, though. Oh, we do. We should. I have another I have another little tiny ball of this so that we can use. Um and people are in the chat talking about liking this video because if we do get to 200 likes we'll do a giveaway next live stream. We only need uh 39 more likes. So that's you know, that's definitely doable. Two, three, six. Okay, and then we're just gonna do eight rounds of single crochets now to just make our second antler tube. This is gonna be so cute. My mom is going to love this. Oh, uh, Takayaki wants to ask, how to use the fungaloids in Stitched? Um, so the fungaloids in Stitched, uh, what he's talking about right now, it, oh, did I miss a donation? Oh, no, no, okay, sorry, I, I misunderstood. Um, uh, the, which team is winning? Definitely the right team. The left team only has five. The right team has one, two, three, four, five, six. And then there's a mediator in the center. Santa Claus in the center watching, making sure everybody's playing nice and not putting rocks in their snowballs. Hey, Puppy Pro! Welcome to the live stream. We are making an antlered uh, snowman right now. And uh, we're actually pretty close to being done. We're, we're just finishing our second antler. Go ahead and cut that. Oh, yeah, sorry, fungaloids. How do you use them? Um, okay, so 
uh, in Stitched, uh, my tabletop game where you crochet from home, uh, there is a character that's not technically out yet. It will be out when we come out with the whole book, but I'll give you the lowdown on them right now. Um, they are fungaloids. They're mushroom men, um, and they have 15 health. So that's how much HP they have. They have one strength, so they're not very strong, not very good at fighting. They have two intelligence, which means that they're pretty good at casting and stealing. Uh, oh, actually, no, stealing is with speed now. Um, casting and uh, defending and stuff like that. And then they have... Um, uh, they're slow, so they're not fast like a uh, an orc. So they they only move with a half card distance. And then their ability, which is what really makes them special, is they can regenerate. Um, so you roll a uh, essentially a cast. You roll two dice, and as long as you get a five or more, you do, um, I think it's, you add... 4 HP to you or any character with that's within distance of your own character. But if you try to heal, if you try to regenerate like that, you cannot defend your character. So you can't defend and heal in the same turn. So that is how to do it. And then let me know, uh, Takayaki, if you email me, I can send you those and like how that works exactly um, written down. It might help explain it a little bit better than I just did. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, one more round of single crochets here. And then I'll add the second part, sew it on, and blah, 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 blah. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then one more stitch. Okay, so we're hit, hiding this end now. What do you do with my stuff and stick? Well, I lost it. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, Puppy Pro changed their account. Got it, got it. Now we're going to add our other part for our antler. And how many was it? Two rounds, right? Just two? One, two, yeah. Okay, pretty easy. Three, four, six. One, two, five, and six. Okay, almost there. How are you guys doing? How's everybody doing in the chat? Oh, 
Okay. Oh my gosh, guys. We're so close to being done. Uh, hope you guys have had fun today. I've It's been a really cool live stream. Um, I think the snowball fight was really fun. <laughs> Whoa, no. What's Mikolakjiki? Huh, Tunnel Sunshine says... Hello from the shadows. Random merch question. I saw in another live you had a rainbow version of your on ball pin. I'm not seeing it on the site. Is it gone? Will it be back? Yes. Um, thank you for asking, actually. One, two, three. Hold on. Let me just get this started here. Thank you for asking. Um, it is uh we we kind of sold out. I actually do have like a few extras right now. Um, if you would like. Uh I'm remaking them so that they are white. So like let me show you. One second. So right here. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, actually. Okay. So these are the ones you're talking about. We got these rainbow pins here. And then we have uh, these pink ones too. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm remaking the rainbow one so that it has a white background like this instead of a black background. Um, just because it, it's just a little bit, I think it'll look a little bit nicer because it's kind of hard to see that crochet hook on the black background. So I wanted to change it to a white background. I do have a few more of these black background ones. Um, uh, Tunnel Sunshine, if you want to email me, I can get you one of these. Uh, if you want, or you can just like order the pink one and then say in it that you want the rainbow one and then email me to like remind me and I'll send you a rainbow one instead. Um, and a little note that says, hi, thank you so much. Uh, but yeah, if you want a rainbow, we have, I have like five or six more of these. So there's just not very many, um, which is why I took it off of the shop just in case like people bought them and I didn't have any to sell. So, um, yeah, that's why I took it off. There will be new ones soon with a white background. Uh, so we're changing it up. So if you want the last last bit of the rainbow ones, hit me up. Okay. And thank you, seriously, uh, Tunnel Sunshine. Thanks for asking. I know that's like kind of a, like, I don't know. I just, I appreciate you reaching out and asking about that. Oh, it's, it is midnight, past midnight in Poland. So we got to finish up our snowman here. Because it is getting far too late out there. Oh, cool. I'm glad you like the black one. I, I'm, I'm very curious to see if, like, what the white ones look like. Um, I, I really hope they look nice, too, though. We're, we're going to be giving away, I think, some of those rainbow pins, pins next year for our, for our um, June crochet kit, because we're going to do a... Um, Pride crochet kit and those rainbow pins will probably be included in it to be honest all right Oh, I'm sorry, Sin. But you're so lucky that your cat got to live to such a nice old age. Gosh, I hope Jimbo lives that long. He's going to ruin my life when he passes. He's going to live longer than me, though. That's the goal. <laughs> okay, so we got our second antler done now. Go ahead and add the, um... oh, by the way, if you need to know the email, 
Um, bye, Llama. If you need to know the email, um, Tunnel Sunshine, uh, it is uh, just louis at clubcrochet.com. Just to remind you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and wind up this half pipe cleaner. And I think we're going to do something pretty simple for a red nose. Bend it like that. Pretty good. Seems like a different shade of. That's weird. Okay. Um, and we're going to put it. Let's see. How many did I do? One, two, three. Would that be even? No, let's do up higher. So, like right here. There we go. We're going to go right into that spot that that fuzz is coming out of. There we go. Let's add a little bit more stuffing into the head. I'm not, I'm not really adding stuffing into the head. I'm just like shoving the stuffing from the body into the head. And maybe I'll add a little bit more stuffing into the body. Well, we got our antlers now. That is freaking cute. Look at how cute that is. And what's cool is like these antlers are removable. So we can... We can take them out and instead give them a hat or something like that. Okay, so the last thing we want to do is just add a little round um, red nose to the tip of our uh, snowman, um, which means we got to grab a red. Oh, actually, this red, this red we want. No, we want a brighter red than that. We need to go grab some red yarn. It's right here, though. One second, because we want it to be really bright red. Like a, like a fire engine. So you can see it, you know, when you're when you're flying through with the snow. Okay, so for the nose, all I'm gonna do is do a really simple, like little tiny circle. So it's not gonna be that um, that crazy. We're just going to do six single crochets into the magic loop. One, two, three. Four, five, six. So we're closed. And then for round two of the nose, let's see, is that going to be, I mean, we could just do like, yeah, uh, yeah, okay, round two of the nose, we're, mm. I don't want it to be too big. Now, let's, let's see what happens when we do this. So round two of the nose, we're going to do a single crochet in the first, and then an increase into the next, get this antler on there a little bit better. Single crochet, and then an increase. One, two. And I'm going to repeat that three times around to bring us from six to nine stitches. One, two, three. And then uh, for round three of the nose, we're just going to do a round of just single crochets all the way around. Uh, Emerald Turtle, no. The, the, um, the pattern for the Elf on the Shelf will be out tomorrow. Yeah. So keep a lookout. 
Um, I'm going to be working on it later today after this live stream. Okay. See, so we got our little nose here. Oh, this is going to be so cute. My mom is going to freaking flip. All right, and then in the next round, we're going to do a single crochet into the first and an invisible de decrease into the next. And we're going to repeat that three times to go down from nine stitches back down to six stitches around. Boom. And then... Oops. And then one more here, single crochet, and then invisible decrease. One, two, there. Okay. And then to finish it up, we're just going to slip stitch into the last stitch here. We're not going to sew this closed or anything. Um, we're actually going to leave it open so that we can slide it onto the nose. We're going to actually probably just pin it on there. But the first thing you want to do is we'll cut this inside bit like that. You can sew this on, obviously, if you wanted to, but uh, we won't be doing that. Um, we're just going to instead, uh, we're going to take this end because this is just going to go on the tip like that, right? Boop, boop, boop. We're going to pin it there. Like that to give him a little clown red nose thing to look perfect from the front and okay from the side. <laughs> Uh, and so all I want to do with this is I'm actually just going to go into both loops of all the stitches around and just go up, 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 up to create a little like end. We'll stuff it up a little bit and then we'll just pin it on uh, and call it a day. So up, step, like that. that see we're just creating like a little weird border there um, we probably could have just done it on there on the front loops only and then I'm just gonna poke that through a little bit I'll just go through the very tip um, let's pull this a little tighter the song is spooky it feels like we're in an ice cave or something There we go. But we do want this to be opened a little bit. Like that. Because we need it to go on it, on the nose. I'm just going to cut this end. Let it loose on the inside there. And then we will simply. Might, we might be able to just like slide it on there. Oh my gosh, it did stay. Wow. Look at that. We just slid it on the nose and it stayed. We didn't even need to pin it on. It's like on there too. Very cool. All right, guys. Let me add just a little bit of stuffing. Just a little bit. Right here on the inside. Puppy Pro, we actually talk about it in our latest uh, episode, Who Won the Giveaway. Um, check it out. It's from from Sandra to Zero won the crochet one, and um, I forget who won the knitting one. I can't remember their name. But we do announce it in the last uh, episode. Okay, well, thank you guys so, so much for joining. Look, we got our little snowman done. And we can add on other parts. We can give them a little hat still, too, if we want. It's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. If I do say so myself, I'm going to give this to my mom with a bunch of different hats and things that she can customize it with. If you like this video, please like it down below. We're trying to get to 200 for a giveaway next week. If this video gets 200 likes by next week, we will do that giveaway. And we only need 28 more likes by the end of this video. So um, we're actually pretty close to it. 
There we go. And thank you everybody who donated and joined the video and just has been sitting here watching for the whole time and crocheting with me. I appreciate it so much. If you've got a name for this guy, um, go ahead and add it to the uh, to the document. I'm going to add it right here. And what I'll do is I'm going to take my four favorite names from that doc. Um, and there are, it is also the top link in the description of this video. And I'm going to take our four, my four favorite names that you guys come up with. And we're going to do a vote on which name uh, to, uh, which four, which out of the four names to name our snowman here. So go ahead and name the guy there. And I'll put the, um, the, uh, Actually, probably Tuesday, I'll do a I'll do a vote. Um, so keep a lookout for when I put that vote online. Gosh, he's so cute. Oh my god, this is really cool. <laughs> I really like this a lot. Pretty great. All right, guys. Well, pasta la pizza. No, you hang up first, takoyaki. Uh uh, you hang up first. Mm mm. No, you hang up first. Stop. You're so Brad. <laughs> Bye, guys. Uh, and Merry Christmas. I'll see you next week. Uh, same time, 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Sunday. We're going to be crocheting along. Uh, we're going to be making an elf on the shelf. Look at how cute our elf on the shelf is going to be. Oh, my gosh. So we're going to make one of these next uh, Sunday. So if you want to get your materials now. Okay. No, uh-uh, 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 mint and moment. You hang up first. No, you hang up first. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Pasta la pizza. Pasta la pizza. No, puppy pro. Oh, you're gonna wait me out? Mm. Mm -mm, you hang up first. Oh my gosh, my stomach is growling so much. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go eat this eat a snowman real quick. All right, bye guys. Bye. Oh, bye. No. Ah, ah.